Hello. What's good, gamers? Do I look different to you? I should. Got new glasses and got a new webcam set up. Hello. Hi, Jazz. Hi, Takeoff. <laughs> Jesus, with that fucking... With that, um... Paragraph. Copy pasta. Round glasses club. It feels very weird, but I like them. These are very... This is very loud, this music. Holy shit. I'm gonna just lower that <laughs> this is an album from uh stream beats as i always play it's really good it's called candy shop i think yeah it's called candy shop it's a really good um fucking yeah very good album i look good today i like i look good with these glasses they they feel very different from what i'm used to i'd make a comment on the outfit what's your comment what's your comment <laughs> what's up cat you're gonna be lurking today that's cool nice to see you um, I, we're playing Danganronpa today, Danganronpa, and, um, I had to start stream early because I, I was just impatient as fuck. I just want to play. I was just like, why, why start late when I could just play, you know? So that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, the fit is very, dude, I, I'm tired today. <laughs> what is it, Sunday? It's a Sunday, right? Yeah, it's a Sunday. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta get up early tomorrow to go film for, um, I'm in my school's film club, so we have to go do some stuff. And that's, um, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, but I'm just sleepy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I wanna play this. I feel like visual novels might be a new meta for my channel, because the last one was very fun. But, yeah, um,. I've been trying to get myself to edit that damn KFC video, and I just haven't gotten around to it. I swear I'll do it soon. I got posted on my VOD archive channel, too. But it was so funny, and I want to turn it into a YouTube video. I feel like people will enjoy it. I'm just being a lazy bitch. But, um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> here's the Xbox. Before we start, I just want to talk. I just want to talk about... <laughs> About this son of a bitch achievement. Play a Roblox game with three of your friends. Here's the problem. I have three friends. At least. Right? The problem is that none of them own a fucking Xbox. Also, this game, this achievement is apparently super glitchy. And, um, yes, I have a door in my room. I'm allowed out. Um, and, hi, Rook. So, okay. Here's, here's the problem with this fucking achievement, is nobody owns an Xbox anymore, none of my friends do. I have one friend who owns an Xbox, and I need three friends, and nobody's playing Roblox anymore, so I can't just go into the game and try to friend random people to invite them in. And all of the groups that are supposed to help with this achievement have not been... Jazz, you have an Xbox? You need to help me get this achievement. If, if any of you have an Xbox in chat... I mean, Roblox is free. You can get Roblox. If you have an Xbox, you can get Roblox. As long as you have, like, Xbox Gold or whatever to get multiplayer. But if you guys have an Xbox and you can get multiplayer and you can play Roblox, I need you to help me get this achievement because I've been... Here's the thing. Recently, I've been binging achievements. As you can see in, my in the top left, 4,000 gamer score this month. And, um... So here's here's what we got. Wait, I've been playing Minesweeper. I got this achievement yesterday that that required me to beat the game on expert, and I did it, and I was very proud of myself. And then it glitched, so I had to cheat to to do it correctly, like to get the achievement. But I did it correctly, which is uh, I'm proud of myself for that. I hundred percented. Oh, I've almost hundred percent. Tell me why. I got to go back and do it, but I did like a lot of the achievements, so I'm like almost done. Getting close to Sudoku. A lot of these achievements require um. Just me playing daily, essentially, which is what I've been doing. So I just got to basically play a bunch to get the last of these. 100% of Minecraft on Windows 10 Edition. 100% of the, pedest the Pedestrian, which is a very interesting game and very fun. Played a couple of Human Fall Flat, and that's about what I've done this weekend. But I've been playing a bunch. Like, so that is why I want Roblox so bad, is because I've played so fucking much. And if I don't, <laughs> if I don't get out of this little rut that I'm in, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> 
I'm so close. I'm 45 gamer score away from 100%ing this game. I just need I need people with Xboxes to help me out. I need three people. I have one already. If Jazz has Xbox Gold, then I have two. I need one more. I need one more motherfucking person. <laughs> I need help. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. Let's let's play Trigger Happy Havoc. Let's just get right fucking into it. Cause I always tend to like not do stuff for a long time. We're gonna turn off the music because I feel like this game's gonna have music of of its own. Um, yeah, I play, I opened it. I haven't seen much of it. I literally just opened the game to make sure it worked. Um, so I haven't really gotten too far, like with anything. I haven't even pressed start. I don't think I have or want Xbox Gold. You son of a bitch. It literally just lets you play multiplayer. Ooh, let me make sure it's not too loud for you guys. Whoa, <laughs> gunshot noises. <laughs> Background music volume. Yeah, okay, well we want it kind of low probably, like that. That's fine, I guess. We're gonna turn the voice down a bit too. I have to warn you, this game does have murder. Okay, so yeah guys, this is a mature game. I checked earlier, it is a mature game, so yeah. It's practically useless because I have no friends on Xbox. That's fine. See if you can get a month free. See if they have any deals for a month free. Otherwise I'll fucking, I'll try to buy it for you or something, man. Cause I'm gonna lose my shit. Anyway, uh, let's play. I don't know anything about this game really. I just know that a lot of people talk have talked about it in the past, and now I have it because of gold. So I was like, I want to play. Logic difficulty, gentle, kind, or mean. Let's just do kind for both. I don't know what action or logic means, so let's just go with kind for both. Cause I like when people are nice to me. I'll do it if you buy me Xbox Gold. You piece of shit. Check if you have a month free or some shit. There's a murder teddy bear in here, so I got my my real teddy bear. I had I have this little guy Yeah, wait, you can't even see him. Sorry <sighs> It's fine This looks cool. I don't know the vibes of it. I know it's like murderous. I don't know. I know it's, it's got allusions to sex. I Thought there's voices Okay, I guess I'll do the narration um, What voice do we want to do for this? Um, um, mm. I had a good one a while ago that I was thinking that I could do, but I totally forgot what it is. Uh, let's just do a normal voice because this is like a narrator. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. You need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in, in is if you're scouted by the school, but you're- it, ah, What the fuck is wrong with me? I can never talk whenever I do these games. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students... Is the prettiest woman you've ever- Oh, it's me. It's just me. Is the prettiest woman you've ever seen in your life. I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. I don't gotta do all the voice acting for this game. Let's go! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. Why is this game coming for me? I forgot to ask Ari. I think I've heard from my friends in film club that long haired Captain Hook is playing. Huh? Yes, yeah, yeah. He's playing God. And I'm. Yeah. I, I, yep. I didn't get the Captain Hook joke. Not all the time you have to voice. I forgot. I'm trying to keep from spoiling stuff. It's okay. Um, I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat, but, you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. 
I tried to be creative with privacy names. That makes sense. Yeah, um, we're filming. And it's kind of like a PSA for like being careful when you're driving. Um, so we have a the, the premise of the story is some guy almost runs over some guy who turns out to be God or some shit like that. So my friend is playing God and I'm playing the, the stupid driver guy. Which makes sense because I never drive. So, I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am staying in front of the anything but ordinary hope speak high academy thing i still can't believe i'm standing here i wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this it's got this overwhelming presence like it's trying to swallow me whole but it's no wonder i'd feel that way what you have to understand is well let me just tell you about the preparation i did last night to get ready for today oh boy HopeSpeak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talk about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students, who are way beyond your average high schooler. Hey yo. One incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also, who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate ba baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the National High School Champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Uh, okay. Should I say a seizure warning? I feel like there might have to be one. Because I feel like games that have to do with murder and are, that are just visual novels and shit tend to get insane. Um, then there's the ultimate fashionista. There was this guy that I watched, that I started watching on Twitch, who used to work at Achievement Hunter, Ray, Ray Narvaez Jr., and um, he loves doing what I do of just like playing a bunch of fucking uh, like games to get achievements and shit. And um, God, excuse me. I want to do more stuff like that. I might have to just find so super shitty games to like get a bunch of achievements, easy achievements in. But I feel that's boring. I like when the achievements have a challenge. He and I are different in that way. He likes to like grind out achievements to get as much gamer score as possible. I like getting the very difficult achievements. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Me too. I want to be that too. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. That's funny. We have a guy at our school who is the ultimate gang biker gang leader. Ultimate martial art. Artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, <laughs> the ultimate swinging pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. And then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerful, powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wander into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one who, without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I don't have that much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Um, oh, you won a lottery. <laughs> We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you've been selected and we invite you to join the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. I slurred my words a lot. I've been realizing a lot about how I talk since I started doing these fucking visual novels. But then... Actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter, clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a neat meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8am. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination, tried to act like I'd done this a million times before, and I took my first step toward the main hall. And then the teddy bear killed me, game over. I wonder how fast I can end this game, because I know there's multiple endings. Is it possible that I can just fucking die immediately and, and, and get an actual ending? This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10 a.m. There's still 50 minutes left. It makes sense no one else, no one else would be here. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. 
I got plenty of time for the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm me down a little bit. Help me calm me down. Yep. <laughs> I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life in a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. I'm going to college soon, so this is freaking me out. The KFC thing was also about going to university. What the fuck? What the... But the instant I took that step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again, and the next moment... Everything went black. That's how it all began, and how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope Speak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck, it was so I could experience ultimate despair. Damn, dog! Welcome to Despair High School. If I recall right, you'll find out how that works later. Interesting. Do you want to save the data? Yes, please. That felt very Pokemon. Something about the three buttons. Like you click, then you click again, and then you click again to say yes. I don't know. Anyway. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> Voice acting extraordinary. <laughs> Are the ice. Extraordinary. What? Where am I? <laughs> I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Do you just want me to hop in VC and voice act? No, your voice acting would suck. Welcome to Hope Speed Academy. First, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the A button and press so you inv investigate that object. Use the right stick to adjust your viewpoint. Oh shit. Wait, this game's actually really nice looking. I like the vibes of it. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have some, they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drill must still left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Hey there, new kid. Oh wait, it'll probably tell me. An orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school will be, will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Jazz, the thing is I can't stream the game to you. So uh, you're just gonna have to wait until you catch up on stream, which is gonna suck. Oh, oops. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Does it give me a different prompt? No, it doesn't. It doesn't tell me when I've already looked at something. Good to know. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not weird that a TV is here. To have a TV in here. Dude, what the fuck? Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Maybe it's the fact that I just passed out and woke up in some random fucking place. What the fuck? I'm, I'm adding curse words. I'm making this better. I swear. <laughs> in any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to, were to knock on it... Yep, definitely metal. Thick too, very solid. That's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? What might have happened is I got myself so wound up, I passed down the main hall. And then someone carried me in here? If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom and said hope speak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There must be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the B button. Well, first of all, what's this? Oh, I mean, okay. Well, I didn't press the B button. I fucking left like a normal person. How about that, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting strange by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Left stick to move to the hallway. Hold down the B, boot, B button <laughs> while moving to run. 
Also, you can press the Y button to bring up a map. Oh, oh God. I hate it. Why is <laughs> Ew. It's so, okay. When I'm using the right stick, this is what happens. When I'm using the left stick, this is what happens. That's so gross. <laughs> I hate it. It's the worst. The spare hotel. I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight. But anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Why Why does it move the camera? That's gross. Jesus Christ. Gamers. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Well, let me see. Okay, we're done. I'm trying to get to the main hall. Which would be... What would a main hall look like? I'm going to say... Oh, it tells you notes. AV room. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. School store. I guess it's not opening. Open. Danger. It makes me... This makes me so angry. I don't think you guys understand the fucking controls. <laughs> it's not that bad, but it's just like unnecessary. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone, already, everyone else was already there. Funny thing Whoa, to me is hey, that this game is a 3D modeling, but with 2D style stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's- it is interesting. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, taking their faces one at a time. Let's look around at everyone there. A lot of people. Sakura the hot woman? <laughs> Interesting. Well, you said women, which I don't think is what you meant, but... Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel kind of aura coming from each of them. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naigi. I think that's how you say it. Makoto Naigi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Thanks, bitch. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment, there's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 p.m. sharp. You piece of shit. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Everest, calm down. Listen, why don't we... Listen, why don't we... Sorry. <laughs> listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no time for freaking introductions. <laughs> Sorry, fucking introductions. Maybe, but maybe good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't not if we do not know each other's names? Why doesn't why doesn't she just say don't? Yeah. That's a good point. Um, okay, so let's get introduced out of the way, then we can move on to whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess it's a, as good a chance as I, I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Okay. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Oh boy. Oh boy. This guy sucks. And this guy also sucks. So let's start with them so we end with a good vibe. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Ultimate moral compass. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous primary school and won top honors every year. He's basically this flawless honors student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals com committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Hmm. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto, Na Ma Ma Makoto Nai. Sorry, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. This guy sucks. This guy sucks. I'm gonna kill him. To keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. 
Life is worth spending. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up, please, God. All right, let's talk to the other annoying guy. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. What the fuck? Ultimate fanfic creator, of course. Of fucking course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator in the world of 2D art. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Van Gogh, utter utterly un Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut, just shut, just shut up. What what kind of meeting is yes, is your indeed. work filled with? Embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to cope. Yeah, this guy. Okay, so it's, uh, it's 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 smut. A bunch Yo, of smut. The name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Leon. This guy seems cool. Ultimate baseball star. Okay. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? huh? What's wrong? Nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball Give star and all. What, what were you expecting? Some kid with a shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player. Bro, imagine going after someone who is a national, like, legend. You found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. Seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not going to die back to normal either. Hey, listen. Can't you know, be totally what? honest with you. I don't like baseball, like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. What the fuck? Yeah! <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. Okay, you know okay. All I need is a songwriter and someone guitar, and we're all set. How he wants cool to be a singer. <laughs> okay, interesting. So that's good to remember for later, probably, I assume. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear in TV and mag magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but we were friends back in the day or some shit. No wonder how you said that she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? She's psychic. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I thought this game was just insane. Hey, um. Hey, by any chance, now what? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did you. Just hold did... on. What, wait. <laughs> what just happened? This guy just interrupted for no reason. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Um, just got carried away, me? I guess. Oh my god, this annoying piece Sorry. of shit. What was she gonna say to me? She's gonna die the first- she's gonna be the first one to die, isn't she? God damn it. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. What's up, HSW? How you doing, bro? Ultimate writing prodigy. I thought that said wedding prodigy for a sec. And I was like, huh. I didn't know that was a prodigy that you could, you know, be. She wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story that said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot it to the top of every hottest men pole. I'm alright. I'm doing alright. I'm, I'm fucking playing this game. And uh, it's very interesting. She's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? New haircut or is this is the normal attire messing with me? I well I got new glasses. 
The haircut's the same. Glasses are different. And I also haven't shaved. I normally shave on Sunday nights, so I was just going to shave before stream. But then I was like, what if the beard actually looks good with the new glasses? Because I look very different with these. So, yeah. I, I thought I'd keep it for now and then uh, get rid of it inevitably when I hate it. <laughs> when I still hate the fucking facial hair. I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. What's your problem? What? It's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. No, I just thought- I know what you just thought. You just thought you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, no, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you! Jesus. <laughs> anyway. I'm used to it. Inferiority complex, yeah. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. What, you didn't know? <laughs> you didn't know what authors were like? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to all those big authors who I know are watching my stream. What beard? You're still a child though. Oh my god. My stupid Wi-Fi is chopping my streams. Oh no. Oh no. My Wi-Fi, it's broken. Oh, are these new people? They totally are. Wait, I want to look around a bit. What the fuck is this? Nothing inside the mailbox. Come on. Come on, there's gotta be something interesting around here. Oh! Uh, there's a gun. I didn't even really notice the gun on the surveillance camera. I probably should have at some point. There's a TV. The school is funded. Oh, wait. Why is it the same exact dialogue, bro? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, let's talk to people. Let's talk to fucking Peter Pan over here. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. It's so bright. <laughs> Just flashbangs me. Ultimate programmer. Yo, I'm gonna go into programming. I get kind of embarrassed when I, whenever I introduce myself. Hi, Girl Hulk. Playing another visual novel. Huh? Have we met before? I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? That was so, that was an aggressive response. You have to apologize. Yeah. She's known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going on, which has endeared her to her legions of fans. Um, hey, so listen. Uh, I'm, I I'm sorry. really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for um, now? Just because you seem upset, you must be mad at me, right? No, no, no. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Thank you. This is- I feel like I'm getting- I feel like I'm getting called out by this. Then again, I go to a program class in my school and all the kids are like this, so... <laughs> checks out. Who are you? Fucking hey, uh, Jimmy Neutron. I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Flashbang, ultimate swimming pro. I kinda- dude, I love swimming. Big- big vibe. She's even been chosen as her upcoming Olympic cadet. Damn. <laughs> hey, I'm like this. Yeah, maybe this should tell you something about yourself. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry. That's mean. <laughs> the combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportion. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Nagi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew something like that. No, no, not something like that. It, It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain yeah. right now. She just kept repeating my name, moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? Mm. Why is this- Why is the main character such an asshole? Oh, he's, I mean, I guess he is a teenager or whatever. I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. What an asshole. I'm sure that is just me, IRL. Like, that's just how I treat people too. But damn. It's exactly how you would think you'd spell it, bitch. <laughs> Can I ask you your name? My name is... Thank you. Ultimate, who fucking knows? She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Ooh. 
Sorry, fucking hell. Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in- Oh, wait, sorry, it was like a questioning- Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see, see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? What are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she just said fuck you straight up. I mean, not straight up, but in my mind, straight up. I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Fucking, Charmed, I'm sure. fucking Harley Quinn, bro. Damn. That hair, though. Anybody would recognize this one. Oh, checks out. Kayako is no better than Mokuto, if anything. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm kind of an asshole too, so whatever. She's got more charming presence than any other, than any high school girl in the country. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with like computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of those cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by all the. By certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. <laughs> so many dreams are getting crushed today. This bitch. I hate myself in this game. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. Who does that sound like? <laughs> that sounds like a voice scrub would do. As a meme, I think. I heard that voice and immediately thought, oh, Scrub, oh shit, it's the biker gang leader. Again, that is such a dumb ultimate to be. <laughs> Damn, bro. Current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Oh shit, that hair. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Aren't biker... Like, gangs notoriously, like, super chill or some shit. Celeste? Her name I is Celeste. Been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. <laughs> His hair looks like corn on the cob. It really does. And her hair is a slinky. <laughs> Ludenberg is my name, but if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. You are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, can you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Lundberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite but forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate ganger, g ganger? gambler who's never lost a bet. That is such a cool um, ultimate to be. That's one of the best. That's so cool. And also her name is sick. She's immediately my favorite. Everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. Cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. The smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. You want her outfit super bad? Get it, bro. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Ultimate clairvoyant. Interesting, interesting. Um, Yasuhiro Hakura, known as Supernova in the psychic community. I can't help wondering if there's any truth it to it. For serious? I saw it, I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A growing angel with a crazy perm chasing after... Bigfoot running off with a sky fish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and civilization. 
you know? We're not allowed to drink. <laughs> oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. <laughs> In the ultimate high school where everyone's like crazy good at everything. That guy seems chill. Name's Byakuya Toga. I accidentally cut him off. It's fine. Hi, nice to meet you. This water tastes so good, holy shit. Even among the ultimate students, this one's special. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's a capitalist. And fucking God, I would hate people. I hate people like this in my school. The people were like, oh, I love stocks. <laughs> There's like, dude, we were doing about me's in my, in one of my classes a few weeks ago because I started health and um, you only do that for marking periods. So it started recently as opposed to all the other classes which started in like September. And um, this kid fucking his whole about me is essentially just like, I love stocks. I love crypto. Like, oh God, I fucking love finance. I please ask me questions about fucking stocks. It's like, Come shut on. the fuck up. You and I will never be on the same level. His aura, a king in training. That, yeah, I don't like this guy. I am Sakura Ogami. This guy is, is from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Ultimate martial artist, yeah. I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I see something like that allows the day I get turned into human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. Some call her ogre. Some even think she's the closest known rel relative to the primates. What the fuck? Let me warn you right now. If you if you value life, avoid her at all costs. I was about to say fuck you, but it wasn't about the stock. No, not the stock game. The stock game's funny. The Like, just genuinely just in love with stocks. That's weird. Hey. Hey you, huh? Yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started poking proud at my body. Um, what are you? I see. Oh wait, what are you? <laughs> Not just what are you? <laughs> Most of your quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's a, such a shame for me. And with that, all the introductions are done. Did I never introduce myself to them as, hey, I'm the ultimate lucky guy. I just happened to get here. They each have their own individual sort of um something. Time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that? Um, listen. Listen. Uh, um. You, a bunch of stuff happened, then you fell asleep, right? Well, this seems true for all of us. What? Really? I mean, seriously? Um, okay, okay. So we all kind of just fucking woke up somewhere Piece around the school. Shit. Okay. Damn. You saw where all the windows in class classes and hallways were, right? Ow. Instead of normal glass windows, there's a bunch of big metal plates. Are you for real? Plus all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Um... I didn't see my PDA anywhere. Then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got what here. The heck? Maybe we got caught up in some kind of like crime. Is it like... like a kidnapping? Someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school. Hey, come on. You know? Isn't this guy psychic? Shouldn't he know what's about to happen? I wonder who's gonna die first, because I assume this game- I'm gonna- I mean, I don't know for sure. I'm gonna assume this game's kind of like fucking And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. It's just like, people just die off one by one, and one of us is a murderer or some shit. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? If that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little, should I? I feel everyone's tension evaporating, but then it began. Ooh, the music turned off. Is it him? Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. He's coming for your ass. <laughs> 
Hang on, can I position him in frame? I'm gonna lean him up against my mic. Fuck yeah, if that sounds bad, let me know. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. He's like a yoga instructor kind of guy, you know. He can't predict the future. If he did, he wouldn't be so calm. Oh boy. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving tread at the sound of it. It's like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Uh, right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Damn! Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse this man just like peace signed his way out of here. <laughs> just faded hey. to, to darkness. What, you're gonna just take off like that? Could it be? This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the <laughs> entrance ceremony. Thank god it was a whole, all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? Alright, I guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Oh boy, everyone's leaving. Anyway. I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. I looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. Who's Sa Sayaka again? Is she... Is she the pop singer? Pop star? Ultimate pop? Pop, pop. This is bad. And Junko is the fashionista. That announcement is really weird. However, Kayoko, we don't. Kayoko, we don't know. Just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, are you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of no, really nervous. The ultimate idol singer. Yes, thank you. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? All right, well, let's save. This is bad. Are these all the people that stay behind? Shit. Interesting. This is this is probably good research, right? Like who who would have stayed behind? Who would have jumped ahead? Junko, Mondo. Oh, fucking this bitch! Why didn't this guy go? This guy would would be like, oh, the rules! I gotta follow the rules! I gotta go quick. Uh, um. I just want to know what their thoughts Listen. all are. All we can do now, I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? Okay, so she's like more, you know, uh, uh, peaceful, I guess. Why did this guy stay? Because annoying. I wish he just went. All right. Well, let's go. Oh boy! Here we go! Where the fuck am I going? Um, forward and then to the right. Uh, well, this is interesting. Not even gonna comment on that, huh? Not even gonna make a... A single comment about the fact that there's just bars over the stairs. I mean, my school does that. We have like a... Hey, come on. We have bars that they put around the school sometimes when we have dances and stuff. So we don't just go wandering throughout the school. Which is always really weird in my opinion. In, in my opinion. But, you know. I guess it makes sense. I had no idea this place was going to be such a pain in my butt. Balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um. Why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. Uh. What? Well, that's... Aren't you supposed to be smart or something? That's not... That's like... Ugh, fucking hell. That's the worst thing to take from that. From everything that's happening. Got to unlock things to get to certain parts of the game. I assume so. It's just weird. I, it's weird that he never commented on the fact that there's just bars around the school. All we can do now is hope. Shit. It ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it! Where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop! No running. Well then. Where are they going now? Yay! Damn. <laughs> 
Time for some more tutorial action. You can press the Y button to observe the room you're in. It will display what people and objects you need to interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Is that it? There's a couple people and there's a door and the- Okay, first hold the camera. Alright, now you. Harley Quinn. This is bad. <laughs> I'm like totally getting a bad vibe right now. Like, this is totally not poggers. Oh, I didn't realize we weren't in the gym yet. Whoops. I was gonna talk to the other guys, I just- I didn't realize that that door was like an entrance. <laughs> it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. That just emphasizing completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling. Oh boy. Do we get to see the murder bear? I want to see someone die. I mean, I don't, but like we all know it's going to happen. Let's just get to it, you know? There he is. There's our friend. Huh? A teddy bear? Little guy. Just a little I'm guy. I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. And I am this school's headmaster. Stop asking for murder, man. Uh, listen, we got to get to it eventually. This music's nice a vibe. You all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. All the anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? Hey, come on now. <laughs> He's getting pissed. Say what? <laughs> a double say what from this guy. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. That's a real <laughs> weird... That's a real weird phrase, man. You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. It's just so dramatic for no reason. <laughs> With this music. It's so, my remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't... NASA? NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. This man really just said Barrett. Oh, <laughs> you are unfortunate, yo. Celeste is actually maybe my favorite. Mm. Moving on, we really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Okay, okay so huh. he's abandoned the gag. Good morning. I hate you hear this. me? That checks out. Problem? Now then. Let's commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. Let's talk a bit about what, the sco what your school life here will be like. Make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. This is unbearable. Thank you, Rook. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rook. Thank you so much. <laughs> to protect some such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together. They're in the two to the school. Huh? <laughs> Good reaction, Makoto. Now then, regarding the end date for this communal life. Too bad. There isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. You sons of bitches, eat my ass. Die. What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's not what we're worried about. It's true. I'm no liar. Of that, you can be 100% uh -huh. sure. Just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond, the, beyond those walls ever again. Cut off. It's all those metal, metal plates all over the school. They're there to keep us trapped in here? Phew. That's exactly what they're here for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come, you little shit. With all that in mind, you feel free to live out your life here with a reckless abandon. Hey, come on. 
What the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you! Unbelievable. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have to plenty. Of, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs. I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. What's this? What's the matter with all you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak High Academy, didn't you? I keep thinking it's gonna say Hope's Peak High School. I don't know why. That just rolls off the tongue more. Before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually... I've cra crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, now then. Let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to, to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if anyone... If someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is a graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know. If one person were to murder another... M -m 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 murder <laughs> Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Thanks for going off now, Alarm. Jesus Christ. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that guy your brain juice is flowing beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, doesn't it? Um, what I'm realizing is there's 15 students, so one kid is going to be stuck here for the rest of eternity, no matter what. Because you, you kill one, and one leaves, so it's two out. Two out each time. There's going to be one left at the end who's going to be stuck there for the rest of time. Or I guess, if you kill two people, if one person takes upon themselves to do have like a fucking double kill, KD. <laughs> Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What are you talking about? To kill each other is it's huh? to to kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do you have to? Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? You will slash. Yeah! Stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. God, I hate that guy. I'm gonna kill him first. Blabbering, blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. We angered the little guy. <laughs> you guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world, you get it? Yeah! And you can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead. Go on a kill, kill, killing spree. <sighs> All right, come on. How long are you gonna keep this up? Hmm? Eh? You, know? you got us. Okay, you scared the hell out of us. You can, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, yeah, because I mean, right? you know, this is all kind of, some kind of stupid trick and all, right? So, uh, dude, dude shit. shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving here aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Wait, he totally made fun of his hair too. Mondo roared out and then there was a sun. Boom! It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Una's on his- Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or- Whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations. Shut the fuck up. Let me out of here. I swear to. Hey, damn it. What? No smartass comeback this time? Piece of shit. Oh my god. Watch out. Get rid of huh? it. Huh? Hurry up and throw it. I don't know if her ferocity stunned him to silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Manokuma. As soon as he did... Rook, you're so glad I didn't read chat. 
I mean, it's not much of a spoiler. <laughs> I was just like, damn, the hell? What the? That shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There's a painful ring in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, i never seen anything like it. But... You know this means that the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey. I told you, I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Monokuma. Huh? What? There's another one? D damn you! You just tried to kill of me! Course. You did violate one of the school regulations. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat in the butt. This is bad. Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school. And there's surveillance cameras, obviously. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? And I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. It's an obvious cue, dude. I called it when I saw the anime. See, fair enough. That's not even a punishment. That's just wrong. Well... To commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it the e-handbook. Hmm. This handbook is absolutely vital, vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it'll display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? It's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space-age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. For some reason. Gotta review nice. all the school regulations. Shing. Yes, indeed. Bye bye. Terrifying. How would you define what we just experienced? Uh, why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever? Or kill? Oh, this bitch is dying for sure. She is not surviving. There's no way. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is we stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? But killing someone, that's... What is this? This guy is so annoying. He's dying first, actually. I lied. Or wait, no, I don't I don't think I said the other person was dying first. I just said she's dying for sure. She's not making it through. There's no way. A lies way does all those ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Hmm. Right now it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is so is there anyone here words. who's seriously considering all this? To that nobody had a response. Keeping my keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stare at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I can almost taste hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became sus suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray me? Betray us? Betray God? And that was how my new school life began. The school which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. How many times are we going to hear the word despair? There it is again. There. The end of the prologue, not the end of the story. Just so you, just in case you guys were wondering. I also apparently have to beat this multiple times to get the, the achievements. So I don't know how long one gameplay loop is. Rook, if you know, let me know. Like, how long is it to get through one, you know, full cycle of the game? Ooh, this is a cool little entrance into the game. Cool little intro. Hate that guy. <laughs> well, a classic trope in games like this and, sh and movies that are based on the same thing like this is that they keep alive the really annoying characters, or some of them. Like, they always have one that dies immediately and it's like nobody cared about the guy. But then there's also always like one who's insanely annoying who just stays for the entire game and who you want to kill, but who always survives. So I feel like the fucking scientist dude is definitely dying first and the annoying honors like moral compass guy is probably going to survive for a while. 
that's my that's my uh, gamble but i also don't know how um how my part in the game works like what i can affect jazz when you say long what does long mean because we could have different uh, um beliefs on what a long game is you could say two hours and be like that's long <laughs> As a Just Dance player whose games last two minutes. In theory, from what I've seen, it's probably around 12 hours, depending on how you play it. If you want multiple endings, probably 16. No, no, no. Like, I'm saying... Wait, what? It takes at least 10 hours to do one gameplay loop? Because you need to play it multiple times to get every ending, right? Or I guess you could just skip the dialogue after that. It has a lot of plot. Interesting. So I'm definitely not getting through this today. And I don't know for sure if I'm going to play it again or because I kind of just want to play through the whole thing on my own, like after stream, like I'm probably going to end up just doing that because I'm impatient, man. I started stream early just because I really wanted to play and I was like being impatient. We got the school crest present. Achievement. Unless you pull an all nighter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The hair hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. I've gotten so many achievements today. Got another one, baby! Pew 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 pew! But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it were her sharp words. And? So, what are we gonna do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. Listen to me! I hate this guy so much. So much. You hear me? <laughs> Dobby? <laughs> this guy got a degradation kink or something, bro. Huh? You have t if you have time to yell about it, you have something time to do something about it. However, what is the mission exactly? Stupid. To look for a way out. What the? And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of them. But, but. This is fine. That's all true. Right. We should like so then... definitely look at all the fucking the rules. All right, here we go. <sighs> Hit me with it. The first thing appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school reg regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school's regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on all us. All of us. Or us all. Whatever. May reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Night times from 10 to 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise a caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. This question. Violence against Handmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they're discovered. Ooh! You can't be discovered killing a student. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Stop fucking around. I'm not gonna let them control me. Why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I'd love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However, but if you got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a. Oh, so this guy's a fucking gamer nerd. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I stay around 12 hours is because of the main facts of the game that affect your play, memory, fast singing, and how much evidence you find. At the end of every chapter, it will depend on these somewhat. I can't go any further due to spoiling, but I'll say one thing. Ah, uh, well, that is kind of a spoiler. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? So I can't afford to die in here. No, that made much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Uh, I guess so. Um... What does regulation number six mean exactly? Oh. 
You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. If you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anyone, anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Break. More like a fallen stab. I like Leon. For now, let's f forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Hmm. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? I hate this Let's guy so much. Let him die first. God, please. Hmm. What? Hmm. Hold on a second. What? <laughs> He's not wrong. I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best Just for me. Hold on. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? Such ignorance. Damn. Da what? You want to throw down? This guy is insane. This guy is like. Uh, this guy woke up and shows violence you for real. Son of a And, and then he fucking clocked me. <laughs> I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. I'm going to move the bear because he's out of the story right now. Whenever he comes back, I'll bring him back. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade, before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Where am I? <laughs> I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Oh, shit. Uh, is that no okay it, it just kept making it kept like going up every time i talked so for a second i i thought that it was like measuring my vocals and i was like how the fuck is it doing that because for a second i thought it was connected because i'm pretty no this mic isn't connected to my xbox okay never mind never mind we're good <laughs> I, I got so scared for a second i was like what the fuck it's like it's like going up every time i make a noise where am I now? Oh, am I supposed to be? Oh no, it just crashed for a sec. Nice, cool, great. Love, dude. I need like a. I need to get an Xbox Series X for serious, like for real, because I can't even play like I Am Fish, that fucking stupid fish puzzle game that's like super cartoony and that I should be able to play. That was lagging for me earlier. Gross. You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook me menu by pressing the X button. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info, info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. Map and truth bullets. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, press the view button to re review the transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Okay, lot happening. Lot of shit that I gotta look into. First of all, X. Evidence. Huh. Does it go any faster? I'm not going through all that, please god. I feel like I, I got one, but whatever. So, okay. Are there more report cards that can show up, or are they just going to be changed as time goes on? Ultimate lucky, unlucky student. The rules and regulations, which I assume will be changing eventually, because it says that they ma may add more. What 
Ooh, okay, that's helpful as fuck. And I can have a save thing. Okay, let's let's get let's just look around a bit. Let's see what we, we're uh, working with here. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I better just make sure I don't touch it. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? I'd better hang on to it for now. Good thing I picked that up. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. Oh. Apparently, it had something in it. Great. Piece of paper hanging on the wall, which says... Announcement from Head Macro Monokuma. Ma Did I say Macro? Master. <laughs> Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to room... room do you have it? To lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a toolkit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job. For the boys, we believe a strong bl blow to the head with any of those tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. Damn. Wait, I th threw it in the trash. What if there's something... What? No. Haha, <laughs> they add a dialogue option for that. I like that. Love when games do that. My bathroom's locked? What the fuck? Okay, that's fine. Does that mean I'm a girl? No, I'm not, right? What are you? Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? Some kind of monitor. Ugh. Alright, well now what? Oh, we can look at the windows. Some kind of metal pl plate mounted here. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new, it's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. No! You keep it on yourself! <laughs> they could try to kill you at any time. You can use Y to scan. Oh, you totally remind me of that. Thank you. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... My bedroom. My dormitory. Whatever. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. That's to get out of here. Well, Strook, as you know, it's against the laws to break out. So, you know, trying to break out with a hammer and being super slow, you'll probably get murdered by the bear before you even get close. All right, let's get out of here. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham. <gasps> Hello. Hello? Oh, Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? I, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Rikos, watch it, Ari. <laughs> she had a very smile on her face. I stood up slowly. She looking pretty murderable right now. <laughs> Mur murderable. What if if I just kill her in my bathroom and then lock the door? Like no one will know it's me, so and I can just like leave. I can I can get out. It's fine. <laughs> I know how I look, but I'm actually built. I've built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down stage. That's good then. Um... Are you okay? You know from when Mondo hit you. That's true. I got knocked out right right there in front of everyone. I guess to reveal my lack of cool right from the beginning. I'm fine, nothing wrong here. That's good. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, 
Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall. You see. We said it would be more effective if we split up to investigate, so we agreed to get together later and talk about what we found. So that means it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. No, why don't you come into my bedroom and go into the bathroom real quick for just a second, please? <laughs> I got murder on my mind, bro. I gotta get out of here. Oh, shit. Okay. Who am I next to? Next to Toko? Is it gonna say the same thing? Yeah, it is. Um, we got Sakura at the end. Oh wait. Well, wait. What the fuck? Where am I? <laughs> I got. I got my. Oh, there's a second. I didn't realize there was another hall here. It just fucking mixed me up completely. I realized that there's also this. I could just be looking through here. Oh, we want to go to the dining hall, which is at the end over there. So we're gonna go around here. We could kill Sayaka. It'd be easy. She trusts us. You know? Listen. Maybe I'm a bad person. But also, I want to get out of here. Damn. This is where the classrooms and stuff are. I don't have any reason to go that way right now. I should meet up with everyone at the dining hall. Well, that's where I thought I was going, but okay. Jackass. You son of a bitch. What the fuck is this? Just jump over the tape, forehead. Is- Oh, sorry, I thought the dining hall was the one with the fucking hot food in the top left. I didn't realize it was the one with the fork and spoons down here. I like how they build the- Everything's so bouncy and fun. <laughs> they build the, like, room as you walk in. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Dormitory oh. dining hall. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. I guess that's not really important right now with us being prisoners and all. Nobody is there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we could just wait here for now. We should just wait here for now. Okay, let's just wait here. Huh, you heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> is it is she fucking psychic for real for real? Right now I'd like to talk about reactions. You're gonna be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some perp words are gonna appear. Here's how they work. What the fuck? Okay. When purple would show up, if you press the Y button, you'll go into reaction mode. Oh, are you familiar with reactions? Well, just in case, let me explain. Okay, sorry. At this point, you can use the D pad to make a selection, the A pad to, or the, and the A button to confirm it. When it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever important school life. Okay, good to know, good to know, good to know. Let's look around a bit before we do anything. What time is it right now? Seven o'clock at night? Uh, um. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Another one of these fucking monitors. Wait, I didn't read that full thing. I thought it was going to be something I've already seen before. Right now, it's just showing the school crest. Well, it's showing a black screen, but, you know, that's fine. Um, there was something. Oh, fucking another camera. See? Looking at all these is important. I always am like, oh, I'm reading something that I've already seen before, but it is actually important. Is she a fucking- <laughs> She's just cardboard, bro. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, um. By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Um, well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I, w I wanted to ask you something. Well, I want to know what this is about. What do you want to ask me? Hmm. Do you happen to go to Black Rue Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, I was. Uh. I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four. Do you remember me?
It's hey, always it's um, these stories are always like oh the popular kid knew me when I was a little nerd back then. That's I feel like that's a very classic trope. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there are lots of students in our grade, right? Plus I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are, hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. S strange? That's. <laughs> She started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. She's gonna kill me. She's killing me. She's fucking killing me. Oh my god. Everything is flat like the only 3D thing is a school model. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. I'm really glad that I know somebody here. Ah. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. They're love interests. I'm gonna become your ultimate assistant. My assistant? I'm, a, I'm your assistant now. I'm gonna help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it it just gets me pumped up. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like you timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall door. He's right, Sayaka said that. Hey. So you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got it! I won't give up. Next time I swear I'll win, no matter what it takes. Just shut, shut, shut up. Shut up, bruv. Holy shit. You fucking annoying little piece of shite. Oh my god. <laughs> After a few minutes, everyone gathered in the dining hall. Okay. It looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. <sighs> Sorry, I keep yawning into the mic. <laughs> I'm not even that tired. I'm just like, my sleep schedule sucks, so I just am always like, yawning. What are you talking? Hmm. What's her name? You know, the silver haired girl. <gasps> yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <gasps> I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she's nowhere to be seen. So nobody's seen her? Why isn't Kyoko showing up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! <laughs> Maybe she's trying to kill one of us! Was she really... No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she'd be... That's not the problem here. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Yeah, word. What do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first se session of our briefing meetings has begun. Um... Actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> you know? Hmm, what's up? I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you? This is just weird. They've barely talked. I hate... I hate the vibes. Wait, can I not talk to everybody else? Or can I? Oh, no, I can't. Not yet. Let's talk to Sayaka again. Um... So since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's about to investigate different parts of the building, you but... Baikuya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kayoka. I want to know... Shit, who's who? Can I check that right now? I totally can, thank god. Who was the other one? It wasn't her, was it? Who's Taka again? Hang on. Okay, so fucking Kin P King Pin went off on his own. And... Who is Taka? What am I missing here? Who is that? Am I stupid? Potentially? Is Taka Toko? It, it could- it, maybe. She is like alone, like she's lonely, so I don't know, or like a loner. 
Uh, I want to ask about Bayakuya because I feel like he's more likely to murder to get out of here. I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here, but unfortunately I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Really? That's it? Hmm. If I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Um... You see... Listen to me! There I made the discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Uh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. And Chihiro and I found that all the rooms are totally soundproof. So my plan would work even better than you guys thought. Um, Chihiro. Okay, we gotta remember that because I don't remember who that is, but we gotta make sure. We gotta figure out why they were with Junko. Um, oh, wait, never mind. Now I know who it is. It's Peter Pan. Peter Pan and Harley Quinn were together. I don't know why, but they were. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there were only locks in the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen. <sighs> that can't be all you have to report. Can it be Mr. Honor Student? Got it! That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Now who can I talk to? Still just her, okay. It looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Chihiro all grouped up together. So we know Junko and Chihiro were together, but also Leon and Hiro were with them. Mm. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows and all the hallways and classes. Who's Hiro again? I remember Leon being the baseball guy who wants to be a musician. I don't remember the last. We want to see if we get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was huh. nothing, not a goddamn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge, even a little what bit. What should I do? No hope of escape. We've been cut off. This is bad, 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 bad. What the hell are we gonna hey, do? Come on. Okay, wait. I want to know who this other person was, because I thought they would talk, but they didn't. It's Hero. Uh, that's not for. Yeah, it's this guy. Oh, it's the chill guy. Okay. Interesting. Um, you see. The same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. Celeste, Toko, and Hifumi were left over, so they joined up. Hmm. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking for all over. Uh, who were they? I don't even remember who the third person was. I know it's Sakura and her, and then some other person. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. No. I was the gang leader, of course. Trying to keep track of all this is difficult. So, like, the chill dude was with... Okay, so the king guy and the loner went alone. Hina, I know who she is. Um, so Hina, Sakura, and the gang leader went together. Then the... The, the fashionista went with... The programmer? And the chill psychic and, um... Who was the last guy? There's one more with them. Trying to keep track of everyone's fucking insane. Um... Did they go with Leon? I think they went with Leon. The baseball... No, we already said that, didn't we? We might not have said it. Yeah, I think that's that was it. Programmer, baseball, fashionista, and um, chill psychic. They all went together. Jesus, it's gonna be in insane to try to keep all this together. I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something with that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura what? and me both, it would it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. Oh, it was hard as like metal. Yes, indeed. <laughs> 
Hey, if we're gonna sucks. get out of here, it's not it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. What? But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words, at this point, we're, we were we are only able to search the first floor. However, we can further assume that there's potentially something above the second floor as well. If that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Um. That's what makes this game so mad crazy. It's like writing an essay to your teacher before the end of the week. You mean before the next day? You see. Okay, so everyone split up. They went alone. Those grouped up. Then. There was two groups left. So we had Celeste, Toko. Toko is someone different than the other person that we said, Taka. So the loner did go with someone. If I'm being honest, I can't say, can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the whole time in the gym. We're not exactly the types to go running around to school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell were you thinking just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> Well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the? If you want to go with someone, you should have just said something. Forget <laughs> it. Like, I don't want to go anywhere with the dirty slut like you. Damn, bruh. <laughs> your mind is as thin as your, thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. What the I fuck, dude? Window. That's so fucked up. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's fucked up. Hey, come on. Everything just calm down, okay? The, all this stress is bad for your skin. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close, now you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayako. Hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? I guess I'm the only one left. Um... I see trees right outside the cafeteria window. Yeah, they have a window here. I thought they didn't have windows. What happened? I went in the cafeteria. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen. I was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. You can just eat sesame seeds or something. Mm -hmm. What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about that. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um, At least that's what Monokuma said. Uh? You saw okay. him? Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that and then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... You are. The answer is yes. The answer is fucking yes. Was everything okay? You didn't try to, like, eat her or anything? Eh? Eat her? What do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking- oh! Jesus Christ. Hey, you bastard. You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk Actually. dude. Not like there's a good kind of drunk- There's some fun drunk hey! people. Stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. <sighs> Shit. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something. Or- a voice kept through the, through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Just break the dang cafeteria window and leave for real. Unless that like leads to the center area, because some schools have like, they loop around. So maybe that's just like the center area and if you just break through you're just gonna piss off the fucking teddy bear She didn't say a word and said she just dropped a piece of paper on the table Huh, what's this? Appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy A map? What the, where'd you find this? Well, it doesn't matter where I found it It does matter, you're freaking us out but more important, What does it mean? It would seem... Just look at it, the building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy So what you're saying is this really is Hope's Peak true. Academy in terms of construction, yes, but it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Like? However, I don't know all the details yet, all I found was details about the first floor. Um... Huh? So stupid it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite is supposed to come and learn? But... Where are all the other students? Uh... Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. Aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this is all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together. <laughs> if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting on my mouth. You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> this is What's a fucking freaky game. <laughs> I'm just happy, that's all. It seems sling up to investigate was a good idea after all. 
Have you been listening? Look around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out, didn't find out who was beyond us. We just still have no, no idea what's oh. going on. Is it not crystal, crystal clear to you what is going on? It's perfectly obvious that we've been in prison in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it's staring us right in the face. You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we guys supposed to do? It's simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke. Um... Everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what's different here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Are you saying we should just accept do it? Do you understand? I'll lack of... There's so much. This is freaky. It's hard to do so much voice... Like, voices for every character. I feel like I should be mixing it up, but I feel like I won't be able to memorize 15 different voices. Survival is not based on who's the smartest or smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually. Of what? course the gambler's talking. What do you mean? <laughs> That's Mondo. <laughs> we all understand that we're trapped here, which means we'll be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping class. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I'd like to make it official. Huh? But why? Are you okay the way things this? are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and come and kill us. Huh? <laughs> I see. So you're suggesting we limit our night activity at night as a kind of preventative measure. Love Mondo's Mickey. Are you my favorite voice actor now? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I think we can agree to that. It's like the little gods of Lolita said. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Without something like this, we sh we're just going to self-destruct. I'm not even going to say that. I'm not going to lower myself enough to say that. I hate this guy what? so much. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine, she says. If you'll excuse me. Huh? Where are you going? Let's see. It's almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are so, well. So goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um... Huh. Hmm. Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Um, well then what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? We can reconvene first thing in the morning. What can we do? Oh, this sucks. So we have to just give up? That's all finding. Wait, sorry. So we have to just give up? <laughs> I really lost the laugh and just did not try to fix it. So in the end. All right. Aww. That is the end of tonight. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their pr private rooms. Um, Are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Just have to check. Is there a rule? Do you have to sleep in your own room? Then the dormitory. So any dormitory. It's a Japanese doll fashion. Celeste is based on that. I mentioned earlier when Jazz said she wanted a costume. Interesting. Is this really, really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? That's right, I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only girls' bathrooms should have locks on them, right? Let's open it up! It really is locked. Ah, what the fuck? Bill's not wrong. Or wrong, not locked. Holy crap! It's like you just saw a ghost or something. In 7th grade, I wore Lolita-style clothes for all. Nice. What are you doing here? This is super duper majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack. Uh -huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. So the reason it won't open is because it's locked. The door just won't fit. Hey, um... Didn't you see the notice? What, can't you read? The bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up. Gave up, it was, it was expensive, of course. 
there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the door knob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door up. Well, from the from the drawing of the door, I should be pushing. Looking at the hinges, I should be pushing, but you know, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Looking at the door frame, I, I don't think I should be pulling, but whatever. <laughs> See, it opened right up. Isn't that crazy though? Your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right. I'm looking at my door. Yeah, that, that definitely, it looks like a push door. <laughs> you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But looks like you're not that lucky after Bye. all. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye. Hey, wait. Damn. Is that the fucking FNAF music? That totally is, isn't it? God damn it. They FNAFing me. They f they laughing and FNAFing. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed, collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. No easy way to just accept the situation you've suddenly been we've suddenly been dropped into. Don't let the bed bugs bite. This is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. But it's not. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony, ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! Now this guy's Mickey Mouse. There's the fucking FNAF music again. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Real quick. I'm just gonna check what the fucking... How many chapters there are in this game. Uh, Trigger, Happy Havoc... How many chapters? 15 chapters! Okay, we're gonna get through chapter one and then I'm gonna end cuz Here's the thing. I want to keep playing. I don't know if I have it in me to uh, talk the entire time Oh shit, I'm getting a text for tomorrow that I'm just gonna check real quick because this might actually be important. Just a second guys Motherfucker sons of bitches. So remember how I said I had to wake up on time tomorrow Yeah, they're telling me now that I gotta be there at 3 p.m. <laughs> Which is good Good for me, I don't have to wake up early, which uh, I thought I'd have to before. Um, but... You know. Cool, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. I, Yeah, that's just, that's life when you're a fucking filmmaker, I guess. <laughs> and by that I mean when you're an actor in some fucking 30 second PSA that we have to make. Mickey Mouse got a lot of little bleach on him then, yeah, he's poisonous now. Get ready to greet another bee! Day. Pretty bare beautiful. The game crashed? Cool. <laughs> okay, we're good. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Except unless if you fucking just just please just go back in the cafeteria and realize that there's windows right there, please. Or the dining hall, whatever. What should I do now? 
Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. What do you want? Hey! Good morning. <laughs> you understand? I wonder if he's always like this. He definitely is. Well, I know Sayaka is at the end of the hall here. Because I went and found, sneaked, sneaked, fit, what is it, what's the word? Sussed her out, I sussed her out, sus, sussy baka. Anyways, I can't ring the doorbell or whatever, cool. Isn't that, what, wait, am I, no, Sakura is someone different. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, sorry, mixing up names. Oh yeah, Sayaka- Oh, Sakura is the fucking fighter. Okay. Sayaka must be close, right? Celeste... Chihiro... Okay, so Toko's next to me. Junko's here. Wait, Toko? Toko is the girl. And then, yeah. Oh, Sayaka's right next to me. Yeah, okay. That's good to know. That explains a lot, that we're neighbors. That's why she found me so quick, I guess. Mondo... Baikuya, Junko. Okay. Anyway, let's um, let's talk to our friend. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Naturally. Hello. Good morning, Saka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, perfect timing, huh? Um, listen. A favor. Um. I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Where are you headed? Uh, um... I'm thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Um... I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us anytime. You never know. Whoever's trapped us here... Present to us with rules for murdering each other. Whoever puts us in this pos insane position, she's right, we never know when they might attack. Um... That gym- that j display case in the gym entryway has had a bunch of stuff, maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Like I said, I'm so- <laughs> Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. Okay, so she definitely is psychic. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook. You can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to, teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you can't teleport at all. Try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost forever. Damn. Isn't that, isn't that, um, the back rooms? Isn't that the, the lore, the recently that's been blowing up? The back rooms or whatever? It's like when you no clip through the world in real life and you end up in the walls or some shit. Gotta go. Okay, bye, Girl Hulk. Thanks for dropping by. Can I just go back to my room and grab hey, the fucking... Um... <laughs> I want to grab my hammer thing. How do I do this again? Oh, here. We want to go to the gym. Which would be right about... Right, right about... Um... Uh... <laughs> where the fuck... Where the fuck is it? <laughs> Warehouse kitchen. Dining hall. Where the f F? Kitchen. These are everyone's rooms. Hallway, trash room, boys and girls bathroom. Dressing room, bathhouse. Laundry. Dining hall, kitchen. Where, where the fuck is the gym? For a normal kid, Makoto can teleport. That's so normal, right? Help? Where the fuck are we? Hey, um. The gym. <laughs> she did say the gym. Where the fuck is the gym, though? Oh. It's because this is a dormitory first floor, then there's also Hope's Peak and the gym first floor. What the fuck? Okay, wait, so what's here? B 
bathrooms, nurse's office, main hall, some classrooms in the AV room. Okay, so that's where we saw the AV room. That This is where the fucking main hall was. And then the gym. Okay, that's fine. Let's teleport. I walk around, get used to the area. I did not do that whatsoever. Thank you for the help. <laughs> hey, um. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. Nice. Hit me with it. I always forget about those coins and then and then I like decide to click on something. I'm like, oh right, that's why I always do that. Helmet of some sort. Nice. Gimme that. I wanna try to go through all these to get all of the coins if I can. Plaque gets to commemorate some sort of championship. Gold statue of Buddha. Why is something like that on display? Terracotta clay figures. They don't look like the kind of thing you'd put in a high school gym. There it is. Another coin. Whoop, there it is. Give me the katana thing. A sword. Oh no, I think it's just a replica. It's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But. I barely touched it, I got the gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... It's better than nothing, hey, I guess. Um. You should take it with you, it might help liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> Wrap it in a newspaper or something. Hmm. When the time comes, I'll protect you. Okay, buddy, aren't you like an average little fucking... Teenage boy. Come on, man. Uh, I don't like this. I don't trust her. She's bad. When I look at her, I honestly feel I can do anything. I mean, stop looking for a weapon then, but as long as we're here, let's hang out a little more. I know I said I want to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk Sorry. about. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. If there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare into space or whatever. Mm. Oh, but you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Um, I... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. This is kind of out of nowhere, but do you have a dream? <laughs> I have a dream. What about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear it. I... My dream is... I didn't even answer. I didn't get to answer. Let me answer. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, so I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty like a princess, and she could sing and dance. But more than anything, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melt melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. It's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took. I mean, even if... I mean, it, even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see. I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't just... You can't take your eyes off your dream. Not even for one second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um, in that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even time taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my live dreams in. My Wait. My li Okay, sorry. I thought I mixed up world and dream, and then I realized I mixed up dream and lives, and it took me a second to comprehend what the fuck I just did. We got it. It's fine. <laughs> It, it's really that tough? It's not f fun at all? Oh no! Oh no, don't get the wrong idea, it's super fun. But, but that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, I enjoy uh, every single day I wake up and get to do what I want to do. Everyone in my, our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? 
Then the dream dies, those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka, she's trembling. She must be terrified. She works so hard, Sayaka, so much to get where she is. You see? Uh, um... They say if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed, which means I can keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Uh, While I'm in uh, here, the world is out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. Damn, dude! This is insane! This is what I feel whenever I have like a bad stream. I'm like, minute by minute, they're all forgetting about me. <laughs> minute by minute, the stream goes on and they go, Oh, who's that guy? I forgot who he is. Oh no. What? She sounds desperate, but I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. Sorry. Uh, um. Sorry. Saka, actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? Okay. I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your special? This feels like a really weird fetish thing, I'm gonna be honest. Like, the popular girl who's, like, cute and, like, you know, quiet and, like, nervous and is a good cook is, like, into you for no reason, even though you're just some average bloke. <laughs> it just feels like... Yeah, it feels weird. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by a bright smile I quickly grown used to. Again, with this thing, too. I feel like they do this trope a lot where, like... The main character who's, or like the main love interest or whatever who's really sad intrinsically and has all these problems that you want to fix for them is also just happy at all times. I don't know. There's a lot of these weird tropes in like fucking games like this that are like novels, visual novels. I don't know. We headed to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. And I know that there's people here. Oh, I guess I'm not even going to talk to them. It's fine. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Sure. As you live out your school, school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. Intimate events. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you'll automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can also choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Anyway, why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizona. Maizona. She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? I hate that free time, uh, Blair. Let's just look around just in case. I doubt there's going to be tokens because I've already read all this stuff. Like, I'll check anyway, but I don't think there's going to be any. Did the... Wasn't there a fucking TV here at some point? I thought there was. It's fine. Oh no, there was a note here that we got rid of. That's fine. Let's go hang out with Sayaka. A girl. Yo, what's good? I guess I should press the doorbell. Um, listen. I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Um, Are you going to try and cheer me sorry. up? Sorry for making you take time of your day like this. I did my best to comfort her. We grew a little closer today. I don't have any presents. Yeah, that's not... I, I don't have anything to give her. Do you think you make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... It's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? 
Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, if you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. That's why. I, had, I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm reveal, relieved you're with me. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. Uh, Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious... Uh, shut up about the smile! Hmm. It's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. How do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um, because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I... I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. But... But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a single word. That was one of my biggest regrets. B -b but why me? Um... <laughs> okay. The turtle wants every million to... I'm, I'm losing my shit. Do I just have to guess? Crane. Okay. I don't know if I was right or if... If <laughs> all of them would have been right. It's so big the teacher had no idea what to do. I'm not feeling too well today so if I'm quiet for a long time it's because I'm slowly feeling pain. That's okay. I, I hope you feel better. No stress. If you'd like to go rest, go rest. <laughs> but you let it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. You see. Is it okay if I do it now? Thank you, me. I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> just kidding. I kind of figured. What? I was so impressed. That's why I was wanting to talk to you even just once. Uh, uh... I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Because like I'm, I'm psychic. <laughs> you just unlocked the skill Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pound in the back, you've earned it. Interesting. Interesting! I want to go to the store, if I can. I guess I can't! Thank you! Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially... Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Oh, that Good is night. wine. Don't let the bed bug fly. <laughs> you getting litty. Today's already come to an end, but I swear tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear. Wait, wait, no. I was going to try to go out at night. I was going to try my best. I was going to break the rules, but whatever. As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I had with the Sayaka that morning began to replay. I do want to see the report card real quick. I fear I can do that even in the middle of dialogue. The thing I remember about Makoto most from junior high was when that crane got stuck in our school pond and he helped get free. I've always wanted a chance to talk to him after that. Skills, melodious voice. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's had is she's under is way different from anything a normal high school like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into school the way I did, so I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to where? No, to compa compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Another theater. Is this the same thing? Oh, no, it's not. So I'm sure you've, you've noticed the killing game has begun. But there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our new students, already so filled with despair, show some hope of escape. So when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart pounding excitement. Wait, what do you mean the killing game has begun? Did someone die? Overnight? That we haven't seen yet? Because I spent the whole day with Sayaka? I didn't talk to a single other person, so I have no idea. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. 
a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another be- I hate- I hate- I hate him. Morning has come. What should I do today? Ooh, a little bit of free time? A little bit of free time? Fuck yeah, bro. I'll take it. I say we drop by the store, first of all. Hello. I'm gonna talk to her real quick, but I'm not gonna spend time with her. You see? <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. I wanna go to the store to get grab some shite real quick. I know there's an achievement for... Oh, shit. <laughs> I need to get one more cage with her... P cage? One more page with her, um... Report card. There's an achievement to get like 999 coins or some shit. Collect 999. So does that mean I can't use them? Am I allowed to use them? Because, I mean, I assume the mono coins are what I'm using to, to buy this shit. Maybe if I turn a knob, a prize will come out. Would you like to try your hand against the... Well, let's learn more about it. You'll find coins scattered throughout... Scattered. These mono coins are treasures valued by kings and thieves alike. Alike. You can use the handbook menu to see how many mono coins you currently have. I've, I've never seen the gameplay for the first game. Just saw the anime. I didn't know it was an anime. That's cool. If you put the coins in this machine, there's a chance you could win a prize. The more coins you use, the better chance you have some, of getting something new. Okay, well, not right now. I wonder if there's anything else. There is. A lot of other stuff. Camera, of course. Okay. There's some stuff here. Some food, it looks like. Japanese Western blend. It seems like, like a cut cluttered antique store. Oh, fuck yeah. Gimme... Okay, so basically the only thing is this fucking, this thing. I'm gonna use one, one coin, and that's it. I wonder if the gambling addict is gonna just use this a shit ton. Okay, we're just gonna use one. I could use so many, but we're just gonna use this one. Got an item. Oh shit, I got a second item because I was lucky. Okay, cool. Uh, I must've been super lucky or that's just how the game works and I was supposed to get two items. I should probably get going. Well, I want to know what the item was. Please put it at the top. Okay, they didn't. Which means now I got to scroll through 114 fucking items. Oh, no. Okay. A handcrafted item made with needle and thread. They say that once you put it on, it will never come off again. The scarab was considered to be sacred by many ancient societies. It's better known today as the dung beetle. Would our friend enjoy any of this? I don't- I don't know if this is a good thing to give Sayaka. But we can talk to her. Um, where am I trying to go? Oh yeah, dormitory. Who do I want to be friends with? Who should I be befriending? Because I don't know if it's good to only stick with Sayaka. But also, like... According to the achievement, I'm close to finishing off her diary thing. So maybe I do that. Hey you bastard. Leon's nice. I might hang out with Leon next, but we're gonna we're gonna try to finish off Sayaka first and see if I can do that. You see? <laughs> ah. 
You want to talk for a bit? Sure, that sounds nice. I spent time chatting with Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? I don't know how the presents work. I might have to do research on this. You should talk to as many people as you can. The main thing to remember is no one is your friends. They're all CPUs. Well, I know that, but I also like getting the achievements. <laughs> as you already know. Um, sure. Let's give her a fucking... Let's just give her this. <laughs> Listen, may I ask you just one question? What's going on? Um... Do you have a girlfriend? Again, with this fucking weird little fetish thing, man. That's like way out of nowhere. Are you embarrassed? Does that mean you do? No, I don't. A girlfriend? Not at all. Um, do you at least have a crush on someone? J just wait a second. What's going on here? Why are you asking me all these questions? <laughs> I was just curious, so I thought I'd ask. Is that bad? It's not- it's not that it's bad. I... But it's only natural I'd be curious, right? Because we're- we're- <laughs> Because we're classmates going through the same thing together. Classmates. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I hate this weird little thing. Uh, Aren't you gonna uh, ask me? What? Um, no, not what. Are you gonna ask me if I have a boyfriend or not? It's not like I don't want to know. Of course I want to know. You're really popular, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if you oh, did. No. I definitely don't. The truth is I'm way too busy for things like that. Then do you have a crush on someone? <laughs> I wonder. Let's just say there's someone I'm interested in. But Hey, um Please don't turn your back on me. No, of course not. I wasn't thinking about doing that right from the moment you came <laughs> to get me from my room the day one. Of course um... not. Why do you know something? I want you to know that I mean it. I can't fake my feelings. I'm really glad you're here. My bond with her makes me stronger. So I have to do my best in here. For myself and for Saka. <laughs> I'm so happy you're going to do your best. Oh my god. Like I said, okay. Um... But is that r really what you were thinking? Anyway, let's just help each other out and get out of here, no matter what it takes. I'm gonna do my best for sure. Okay. Let's go! Your maximum maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. There's the achievement! Yeah, baby! Your maximum number of skill points has increased. I don't know what that means exactly, I don't even know what the skills fucking do, but whatever. After vowing to say I could have given my all, I went back to my room. That's such a good animation. There's still lots of time left in the day, I really don't feel like just sitting here, maybe I'll take a look around. So we're still... Still just vibing. Alright, let's start the Leon story. I'm so busy these days, I don't have time for a boyfriend. I don't even have a crush on her or anything. Although there is someone I'm interested in, but I need to put those feelings on hold. Alright, I want the Leon story because he's a chill dude. And I think it'll be nice to be friends with him. Ooh, another achievement. Cleared the 10 CP. See, I don't get the skill point thing. I might need like... You totally didn't want to carry a hammer around. Okay. Rook, you are misrepresenting my words. I wanted to have the hammer because um, I wanted to protect myself. I didn't want to go on a murder spree. I just want to kill Sayaka. I mean, wait, let me get out of here. Okay. Guys, I just want to kill Sayaka. She can't hear me, right? Yeah. I just want to kill Sayaka because she trusted me to get out of here and be free. You know what I mean? Day one, who would even guess? Because everyone was split up. I could just be like, yeah, either of the people who were alone killed her clearly. Aw, idiots. Oh, hello. Fucking menace. Where is Leon? I want to talk to him. It's possible that he's somewhere around in... I don't know what the SP stuff is. It'd be nice if they told me. Is this... That's Leon. No, that's not Leon. Kyoko could also be nice to be friends with, I feel like. Oh, he taking a piss. Alright, vote. Vote in the chat right now. Kyoko or um, Leon? 
Because I think either would be very helpful to be friends with. I wouldn't mind being friends with either of them. So. So by vote in the chat, I mean... Rook and Jazz. One vote for Leon. One vote for Coco, who I don't think is... Anybody. So we're gonna go with Leon. <laughs> Hey, you need you need me to take care of you in here? <laughs> nice token. You get 999 of those. Seems like I don't know why, but I've been feeling even more stressed out than usual. That's bad, right? You think I might be getting sick? Huh? Hey, whoever's in charge around here, I'm sick. Get me to a doctor. Uh, Ugh, hmm. please get me out of here, please. Let's spend some time with the dude. We gotta sit down and plan out our strategy. You know what I mean. So Makoto, which girl do you have your eye on? Leon and I had a strategy meeting about women. Which is a mood. We're high school boys. Leon and I grew close today. A little close today. Not really. I'm not even afraid anymore. Now I'm just pissed off. Hey, Why? Why is this happening to me? This isn't fair, man. I mean, am I wrong? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it really isn't. Hey. Right? Totally unfair. Ultra unfair. Just like having to shave my head right before every baseball game. Well, I mean, you chose to do that, right? You... Come on, man. Are you against me now, too? I didn't even want to play, but the coach and all the teachers begged me, so I did it. Then they made me shave my head just because it's tradition. How's that fair? You really hate baseball that much, huh? Aww. Damn straight, I do. I was wondering around uh, dusty fields for three hours. That's a mood. For baseball players, the field is like sacred ground, isn't it? Huh. But it's so not cool spending all that time at practice getting covered in sweat and dirt. Hey, listen. It's just baseball, right? It's easy. Who needs practice? I think the gods picked the right, wrong person to bless with that much talent. Oh yeah. Still, I gotta admit, baseball isn't, wasn't all bad. It did have a few things going for it. Yeah, right. Like the feeling of camaraderie between you and your teammates. I mean, no, nah, nothing like that. I can't stand being around a bunch of sweaty guys. So totally uncool. What'd you like about it? I hate studying, right? But I still got into this super fancy school and a sports scholarship. As long as I kept playing, I never had to study. And besides that, it made me super popular with the ladies. Booyah, you jealous? <laughs> I got to third. Okay. Okay, okay, buddy. Okay, you little guy. Let's hang out again sometime. Talking to you helps keep my mind off this place. I'm not really sure why, but I guess Leon likes hanging out with me. Nice. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so we gotta hang out with him three times. See, this is nice. I like having this little little thing to tell me. Earn every other achievement in this game. Yeah, right. Fill in every page of every character's report card. I assume then that means I can... Like, throughout the course of the game, I can actually hang out with everyone, yeah? Like, I don't have to... You know... Do it on separate games, maybe? Hopefully, perhaps? Perchance? You just unlocked the skill Robot Jock. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. Don't know what the- I still don't know what those skills mean, but thank you. Once we're all done, I head back to my room for a little while. Sorry, I keep looking straight at the camera because I just remember it's there. It's, um... It'll be good for me to, uh... Get used to not doing that if I ever want to act like I'm gonna do tomorrow. Ding dong, bing bong, bing bong. Oh god, they say bing bong in this game. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. The doors will be locked okay, again. Then. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, basically, we did nothing other than talk to people. The third day here has already come to an end. When will I? No, we. When are we gonna get out of here? Ooh, I'm starting to break. Well, either I'm starting to think of them as my teammates, or I'm stopping thinking of them as my teammates, and I'm trying to get out of here alone. Before I knew it, I'd fall into an uneasy sleep. I fucking looked at the camera again. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. Must be like unnerving to just see this guy just look straight at you. <laughs> I 
If you think about people will be dying, you don't know who, so completing that achievement will be hard. That's true. I might... Hang on. Um, where was it? Wasn't it somewhere here, like, getting... Oh, yeah, here. It's it's doing it... Like, it's it's measuring how much... How far I got. So I'm assuming that it rolls over to the next game. So, like, if the, if the fucking... Guy who I thought would die first dies first, and I don't talk to him ever. I can probably just meet him in the next game and get him first. I need an immediate fast-acting pick-me-up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving it to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula 1 drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of extra can create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Some of those things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than a backstroke or a breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is speed is the gold standard of the standard world, which is why I, I oh. said I need that pick me up. Sorry. Meanwhile, milliseconds later. A bing bong. Guys. Get it? Do you get it? Do you get the joke? Do you get the meme? Do you get it? Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. I feel like I expect this chapter to go way shorter. <laughs> But we're gonna get through get it. Get ready to greet us. Okay, shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hear you talking about another beautiful day. I woke up to his irritating voice and pu pulled myself out of bed. C another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the p fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, bing bong, the sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Anything else to look at today? Probably nothing new. You son of a bitch. It's definitely not short. Yeah, I can tell. Fantastic Norma, no, 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 no. isn't it? Taka? Oh, this is Taka. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption, without waiting for a reply, Taka barge into my room. Can I leave? <laughs> I'd better just go to. Fine, son of a bitch. What's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not. Okay, shut up. Without a doubt. You hear me? I hate this guy. <sighs> Sorry. I was thinking about it last night. I decided we all need to really come together. <laughs> Get it, guys? <laughs> come together. <laughs> Everyone should have breakfast Quiet together. Down and listen. Please head to the dining hall. Got it. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before he could say a thing. I guess I'd better head to the dining hall. I like walking around. Let's talk to Sokka if we can. Okay, well, I don't know why they even let me do anything if I'm not going to be able to make a choice. You know? Like, if I have to go to the dining hall, just teleport me to the dining hall immediately. In my opinion, in my humble opinion. Yo, what's poppin'? Oh shit, there's a lot of fucking. Oh. Okay, so that's all the blue stuff is stuff we've already seen before. Alright, let's go left to right, I guess. What's your. Um, Bayakuya and Toko are definitely gonna fall in love from the looks of it. Hi, Makoto. Hey. Yo. Yo. Good morning. <sighs> Let's just hurry up and get this over with. Taka's getting antsy. I had to do it to him. Yo. 
I take it back. You can murder in this game. Murder, murder bush pass. <laughs> Waking up to the sound of talk of squawking is not a fun way to start the day. I'm glad he can be negative sometimes. That's a very nice character trait. Hey. Hmm. How very sad. This is why I hate 3D so much. Oh, I'm understanding so much about this. I, I'm slowly understanding so much about this fucking character. About, um... What's his name? The gamer guy. He was talking about 2D and I, I didn't pick up on it. And he was talking about 2D anime girls. Oh my god. <laughs> she is a child. I'm pretty sure she's just a child. Uh I like Celeste. Celeste is a chill character. Hi, Leon. What's up? What's up, homie? Mr. Goody Two Shoes is running the show for now. And there's just her hidden all the way back here. Oh, more important. If I absolutely must talk to you, let's hurry up and start this stupid meeting. I thought she was nice. Damn, Junko, what happened? Listen to me. Let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet you you see, right here, you can see the king guy and the loner are together. And then you see everyone else here. The gang guy is, like, bored. I'm just sitting there, like, kill me. Thank you for making time your busy schedules to come together. I didn't make time for shit, you dragged hmm. me here. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it's essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. From now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcements. Now then, let's eat. <laughs> I kind of hate eating around other people too. I understand I mean, that. Seriously? But more important. Do you want to happen to come up with any clues? Nope. Seriously? Hey. Are you okay with this? Just had to check that, you know, she wasn't behind me. What the fuck? <laughs> you are going huh? to die. <laughs> Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! <laughs> I'm not joking. Adaptability, survivability. Did I not tell you so? So you better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? What? What? Yeah! Sounds like the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. Piece of no shit. No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Nobody has any clues? What the heck? One thing I can tell you is whoever's behind the, is wh who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped in here for the f in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that. But for right now, actual clues uh, are. Um. Huh. What's up? Um. If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? Mm. Got it. You know? Mondo? Oh. I thought I thought that it's just gonna be Mondo because he's a gang leader or whatever. You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? Genocide Jack? The monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashions. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. He's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. On the internet, they start calling him Genocide Jack. That's about covers it. That about covers it, I think. He's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just an urban legend, though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. Oh, wait. What? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. <laughs> I always forget when it comes to Mondo. Hey, hold on. But if there's a, if they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah. It's okay. Everything's absolutely positively 100% without a doubt going to be okay. Because help's going to be here soon. I'm sure of it. I mean... 
there it is. I, I knew my boy would be back. Because, I mean, come on. As if we would get help. What's this? The police? You're putting your faith on the police? I know. I know. Bastard. Insane. What are you doing here? You guys. Do you understand what role the police exists to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero, or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that shows just how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, if you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill. <laughs> what the hell? Why the hell are you laughing? You know? Come on. He still thinks You're it's an act. Dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what do you have in mind? What the hell do you want? Sorry. Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? that's a pretty long name. German, maybe. Hey, come on. We know who you really are. Hmm. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a bitch. Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun and a couple days have gone by and nobody's killing anybody. Hmm. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish and here you are working together. But I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got it. Wait, I think yes. Ding, ding, ding. I figured In it other out. Words. Why hasn't anyone killed any anyone yet? That's why I couldn't understand. But I just realized there's one very important piece missing. What, what are you? Ching. If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. <laughs> I just have to give everyone a, a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What are you talk? What the fuck are you talking about? You have a little little shit stinker. Hey, um. Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch! Stop changing the goddamn subject, motherfucker. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Ooh, how exciting! Oh, but don't worry, it's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you, showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Hello. <laughs> Oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. You. What do you want from us? Hmm? Trigger warning? Oh, okay. Guys, trigger warning. Apparently. What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Despair. That's all. Well now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourselves. Mm. Ooh, do whatever you want to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try and stop you. Interesting. <laughs> it's in entertaining as heck watching you guys search de so desperately for answers. I guess I want amusement from you too. Um, is that right? However. That's true. Okay. Mondo started glancing around the dining hall, but when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah. Makoto, check this out for us, would you? Why me? Yo. Because you're closest to the door. That's the rule, right? That's true. That is the Jesus rule. That is the rule. Hey. Piece of shit. Hey, 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 hey. Stop fucking around. You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the deal? Just check it out real quick, please. And thank you. Okay, I guess I'll I'll get going. Hell yeah. Hey, um. If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place yeah. alone. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. Um. <laughs> he's terrible, but he's funny. I like him. I'd say I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So where's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... Hmm... How much you want to bet it's gonna give me like a little alert that tells me. Damn, never mind. Guess not. Get fucked, me. Okay, what's well, not in the sauna? Probably. It's probably not going to be in the fucking trash room. Nurse's office, main hall, school store, AV room. That makes sense, right? Let's just go to the main hall and then we can just go to... Because isn't AV room all about that shit? I don't know. 
I don't know what AV stands for. I just... Oh, th this is it. Yeah, this has got to have the setup. Look at it. The fuck? Are those the only three things in the room? Nope, there's something over here that I want to grab. Oh, another fucking surveillance camera. Of course it is. And on this side of the room, let's just grab, grab these three things real quick. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Another one of these fucking monitors. Give me a token or some shit. A bunch of DVDs, and each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us he mentioned. Hold on a second. Wait, no, let us watch it alone, damn it. I think I see something. This, uh, oh, okay. Wait, what do I see? Yes, I want to watch mine alone, for sure. Uh -huh. Oh shit. I yelled out without realizing it, and my heart started racing, because what I saw on that monitor was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If I had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope Speak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now, was totally different. I wasn't living an ordinary school life, so I had, to, I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. Holy shit. This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came flowing out of the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Speak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation? What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! I set my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? Um. What happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um. What's going on? Damn it, Rook, you're spoiling the game for me. <laughs> Don't tell me that there's supposed to be dead bodies. What the fuck? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it like? Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the? What the fuck? This this can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, yeah, no on. way it's real. <laughs> no way. I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. They'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. I'm sick for her. Even now, she's totally so calm. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to feel our desire to leave so that we're most likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. Hmm? Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. But both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. 
Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. <gasps> Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What? what? Hey. So then. Maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we'll just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everything out of our system. Hmm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey Sayaka? What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka. I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand, hand away and suddenly ran off. Huh? That's enough. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? Um. No, I agree. I don't. I. <laughs> <sighs> we don't have to stick around together, oh, right? Speaking well. of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. I love how they just phase out of just the world. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. She would be. Where would she be? Let's check. She wouldn't be at the store, would she? I doubt she'd just run out one door and go right to the next. I also don't know if I can even find anyone in here because of how small it is. We are gonna check. I wanna check the gym. She might have made her way into the, um,. Room where we first had a conversation. Perhaps. Nope. But Junko's here. But more important. <laughs> okay, uh let's try to maybe go to her room. Unless it's going to tell me where she is, because sometimes it tells you, but I think they want me to find her. That's Leon. That is a lot of people who I don't care about. <laughs> Let's go back to my room. Okay, well, that teleported me right where I needed to, so now... Nope. Where else could she be? Oh, hi, Celeste. Freak. <laughs> mean, but true. Oh, I feel like I could sprint. Was well, near video, Mondo? What? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. It was fake anyway. It has to be. Whoever's doing all this just pulled it out of his ass. Stop fucking Yeah, around. that's gotta be it. Those assholes can't fool me. Okay. Sure thing, bud. Uh, maybe the... Uh, she liked the kitchen, doesn't she? How is she allowed in the kitchen and not me? That's fucked. Because I'm pretty sure the kitchen's that way, right? I don't know. Let's go this way. Oh, wait, no. The bathhouse is that way. This is a kitchen. Like, this is a cafeteria. And she was, like, all about cooking or whatever. So maybe she'll want to be in here. No? Oh, this would have been such a smart place to have her. Nice. Yoink. Scrumplish is a little token. 
Nice, another one. Gonna get to that 999 so easy. Oh god, another one of these motherfuckers. Oh nice, alright. Is there anything else? No. Where else do you guys think she could be? Maybe one of the classrooms? Perhaps? Ah, jump scare. Um, cause I'm. I wonder what this fucking red door is, but it won't tell me. Well, let me see. Okay, well we know. We know about these two classrooms. These are where we woke up, so maybe she'll be in one of these, just hiding. There she is! Look at me go! I'm a legend, bro. I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absolutely at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry, or... No, she didn't have any, any expression at all. There's nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Sayaka, are you okay? Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no, how could I possibly be fine? What did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? Why? I want out. Let me out of here. Right now. Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashed around, I, thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think about what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure, composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened... People out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was tr trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to my head. Well, huh? Yeah? What? <laughs> just making up words that aren't in the sentence. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that have been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we walk work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. Making promises that you can't keep. Sayaka? Please, help me. Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. <gasps> She raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big wet eyes of hers. Makoto. Can I believe what you said? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? Absolutely. Makoto. You're the only one I trust. No please. No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Sure, just um, hop into the, my, the bathroom that's in my dorm real quick. Um, and then close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> and then stay asleep for the rest of uh, your time. <laughs> I'm your assistant. <sighs> hey, hey! It's standing <gasps> up. Makoto, it's standing up. What's standing up? Come Do you on. even have to ask? Yes. Your flagpole. Oh. Haha. <laughs> I hate this. I hate it. I hate it so much. And I fell. Of course I did. If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. 
But boy, are you slow, 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 slow. I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. Um, what the heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um, well, for now, you want to just head out, head back? She's just ignoring the boner that I apparently popped in this story. <laughs> Canonically. Hey, this bitch can get the fuck out of here. This teddy bear's been here too long. Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we just created. We head back to our dorms. You should get some rest. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. It's always weird aliens that just want to play with our fucking mental state and decide like, Hey, you know what? I'm just going to make these people kill them like each other. Like, I'm just going to show up, right? And I'm going to cause problems. That's, like, that's always the story with every, uh, like, one of these kind of games that I've played. Sorry, just a sec. Um, yeah. With a nod and a sl small bow, she disappeared into her room. Bro, this is so long. This is such a long chapter. I did not realize it was going to be fucking this long. <laughs> On my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Sayoko was okay. After Once I was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think about after watching the deranged video. I need some rest of my own. Jeez. Seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in that video might be real? Monokuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here, but I could never kill someone. Do the others all feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime is about to start. So how come someone's here? Sorry. Oh boy, we're a boy. Can I keep the toolkit on me yet? God damn it. I want to just have it on me. I don't, I don't get the point. What are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed her body was trembling. Is everything okay? It was so strange. What happened? Makoto. Just a while ago, I was lying down in my room. All of a sudden my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense I was up. So scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But it started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside. But there was nobody there. So then you tried to force their way into your room. But who would do something like that? I mean what if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? But Anyone could break the promise. Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? All it said in the school I This is why I asked the question earlier, because I knew that this would be a fucking thing that showed up. All it said in the school regulations was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in. So... Hey. But two people sharing one room is, you know, ah, oh geez, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Uh, um, no, I know, me neither. It's not even that I mind the idea, but um, if you don't mind, could we just switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms. If it'll help you put your mind at ease, and it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room. But are are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't like concern you. <laughs> it's fine. I trust you. In that case, then. FNAF music. 
<clears throat> okay, shut up. Okay, shut up. Okay, please shut up. Okay <laughs> then. I just need him to stop talking to me. Like I said, I'm Aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? What if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile had made its way to her face. Okay. We exchanged keys and when I looked back up at her again, there was another worried expression there. Uh, um. <laughs> um. The showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Wait, why? <laughs> what? The devs are fucking with me. I can't tell if she's actually psychic or not. I looked around as soon as I got out in the hall. Everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. Making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Saika's room. Well, at least I didn't get murdered while I was rushing in there, you know? It doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice, though. I want to leave though, just to just to see. All right, I really gotta check for tokens first of all. That's there wasn't any doubt about it. It was a DVD with her name on it. Yeah, I'll wait for her to bring it up. Tokens, hit me with them, baby. Why does she not have a lint roller? Where's her lint roller? Well, that's just a weird. Okay. Sure. There's the token. He's just like, oh, she slept on it. She, the woman slept on it, so I gotta sleep on it too. Next to it is the map of the body's vital organs. God damn, bro. Every student can only have one ultimate. They can have a side hobby, but not something ab abnormal like being psychic. Sure. But... You say one ultimate like it's a superpower, but it's just something they're talented at. Or I, I don't know. I don't know the lore. Let's see. Listen, when I say stuff, I'm just kind of like talking. It doesn't mean I actually believe if, you know, that she's psychic or not. I just like uh, thinking about what could be. Feeling a little better than before I fell asleep. Finally. I need some free time, bro. I gotta talk to Leon and maybe like Celeste. Or Kayoko. Imagine you're on a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind. Here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You have to worry about the ozone layer, asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But, but even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only re exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you got Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! This guy's fucking insane. Good morning, everyone! Get ready to- I just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. In this world, apparently, it seems that ultimates are like superpowers in a way. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's see. I want to get more used to lore before I make any... You know. Alright, let's go to breakfast! I left the room and made my way to the dining hall. 
If the chapter doesn't end soon, I might just have to end after this night. A few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> hey, Makoto. <laughs> I figured everyone who'd arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late. Yo. Yo! Sorry. My makeup would just not cooperate. Ah, well, hello. Didn't they say that everyone lost all their belongings when they walked in? So how does she have makeup? My morning duty took a little longer than usual, huh? 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 Sure. Sure. Indeed. <laughs> my bad, my bad. What's your problem? Yo! I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Wait, where's... So... Wait, wait, hang on. Hmm. Well, yeah, we are missing people. Saka so and Bayakuya. Who's Bayakuya? Damn it. Oh, don't care about that guy. Never mind. <laughs> What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. <laughs> um, however. I need to go. I have to check on her. Imagine she's dead already. She might have had her makeup kit on her. Yeah, but they said that they got all their shit robbed off them when they got knocked out, so... The words have barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I headed first was my room, where I let her stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe, but over the course of that one night, the room had been completely transformed. What the hell? Alright, let's just start from right to left. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff to look at. Keychain. It has my name on, the, on it, so this must be my room key. Display stand the sword is on. There's a lot of shit to look at. The replica sword that I used one for self-defense. Alright, well I'm gonna look for Sayaka. Calm down, I'm looking at all the other stuff first. Damn. Got all that. There's another thing here. Wasn't there? Whatever. Scratch marks all along here. I think I've already seen this. I don't have time to think about this damn monitor. The lint roller has way less sheets than it used to. I'm trying to piece together everything that happened before I actually uh, look for her. Because who knows what tokens and shit I can find. I don't know. More importantly, where's Sayaka? Just will not let me. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll fucking go in the bathroom. For the first time ever. Oh, she's dead dead. Oh no, she's like, she's proper dead, huh? Damn, that sucks. Fuck. <laughs> when I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remember seeing before. Now's no time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? Uh, um. Well. Oh shit! So that wasn't a dream. Cool, 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 cool. Um. Uh, 
Oh, that's what I said. Just give up. What? Listen to what? us, man. What do you think's gonna happen if you go out there? <laughs> well, what good is it gonna do just sitting around here? Why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend, she's she's dead. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Shouldn't it be obvious? Monokuma, he told us all to come here. So... I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now we need to do whatever he says. We're prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to find him, defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. One of us did it, bro. Sorry, I I'm trying to trying to figure out like who fucking would have done it, or who wouldn't have. Maybe like process of elimination, you know. <laughs> well, wrong. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. Uh, um. What, what is this? <laughs> just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. <laughs> Mondo gets the, um... Gets, gets the chance to always have his lines spoken because I want to do the Mickey Mouse voice. Everyone else, I don't want to say all the lines because it... Like, you guys can read. And I try to get the gist of it in my dialogue. So I don't have to say the entire fucking game, you know? Stop talking. But Mondo, I always, I always say. Hm. Huh? Come on. If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> it's cuz naive. You're just so naive. You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz, waltz out and out of here? Hey, come. The real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now Are you ready? Then. Let me explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Then perhaps. Unless they're discovered. You can't be found out by the other students. That's what you're talking about, is it not? In other words... It's not enough to just kill someone. You have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. Yahoo! So a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial would begin. Hmm. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Damn! Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Wait, so... Well... 
we're gonna get punished if we don't get it right, so we have to get it right no matter what. Or just punish. I mean, I guess he's about to ask. Hmm. What? Okay, so okay, basically this game is telling me that no matter what, I'm going to get it right. Like I, because if I don't, then we lose. What? Oh, hello. Execution is execution. Execution. Some bitch. <laughs> Electric chair, bzz, 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 poison gas, <laughs> torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Fun. <sighs> so to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed. Well done. Look at you implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. It's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system or an inquisition type thing. You'll be decided who you, th who you think the killer is, but judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. Uh-huh. Hey! The hell are they talking Huh? What the? What's this? Stop it! What? Ooh. You're not going to participate in the trial. Only punishment awaits, awaits some blasphemy. Blasphemy means to like think you are as high as God or like go against God or whatever. So this guy thinks he's God. The hell are you talking? Hmm. Shut the hell up. Oh shit. I do Stop it. But I won't give in to such evil, it's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Huh? Violence against Headmaster Mon- I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! Godly Spear Gungnir. There it is. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. Two dead. Two dead and a third is about to leave. Um, oh no, wait. The third won't win, so the third is about to die. I don't think it's possible to get, like, to fully clear everybody's story thing. Because there's no way I could have even talked to Junko enough to clear hers. So, I guess I just gotta keep playing. And we'll see what happens. This wasn't... Supposed to? Why me? No way! Uh, God! Yeah! Fucking damn, dude! Poor <laughs> Junko. Now you guys understand, right? I think we do. Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So is this game randomized? Like, could anyone have died there or did it have to be Junko? So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Toko Fukuwa, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Junko's fucking dead. It's the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Junko, who until just a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She'd been murdered. It was the death of a human being. Hey, um... No more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. Just as natural as the eventual end of the world. This isn't some superhero comic. It's not like when you die, you didn't really die. This is reality. Why? Hmm. I changed my mind. Say what? Damn it! Well now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the blackened. 
This little file is all the information I gathered about the death in question. I like to it's call it... the Monokuma file! Thank you! Mm. It had to be Junko? Damn. So yeah, there's. I physically couldn't have become like friends with her enough yet, so... Let's just see how this goes. I mean, actually, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead of gather, gather up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. Yeah. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because <laughs> the cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So then. <laughs> if I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial, now could I? Correct. I mean, are they going to point out that she died in my room? Is that something that's going to be brought up soon? I, I mean, you know? With that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was, was a huge sock, huge sock, of course. But there was more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We'd found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open sus suspicion. The worst situation imaginable. She didn't show the sli slight hint that I had gotten to her. What? In other words... We knew cooperate, yeah. Yeah, so let's just kind of write, because Junko's been the one who hasn't wanted to adapt this whole time. So of course she died first. Or second, I guess, but died of her own accord. No, because they know where she died, because they, they came and got me. But are they going to bring up to me why she was in my room when she died? Because I'm waiting for them to be like, hey, what the hell was that about? Just a second. Good thing I didn't kill her in my bedroom. Wait, I totally made a joke at the beginning of me killing her in my bathroom and she died in my bathroom. Yo, I'm so smart. Holy shit, I called it. Good thing I didn't though. Good thing I wasn't the one to do it because then I would have gotten caught easily. So like so red handed because everyone else was at the meeting. Right now exposing the killer is the most important thing. If we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? <laughs> we just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. Rook, I'm not saying that so you can tell me what they're going to ask. I'm just asking the general audience who might be thinking the same thing. That's what it takes to survive, and that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why she had to die. Why she had to be the one. Alright. I can talk to everyone. He's finally realized. Your Didn't he come get me after I passed out next to? Uh, never mind. <laughs> never. Never mind. Let's see if I have something to say about the camera. Okay. Guess not. What the heck? Hmm. 
Are you serious? Oh! <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> there it is. She died in Makoto's dorm. Interesting. What the heck? Hey. Hmm. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. Like I said, I don't know what the first gameplay was like, so I really can't say what they know. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. What? So Fuck dead. you. Mm -hmm. This guy is so annoying. Huh. But so then. So, actually, goodbye. Goodbye. Yo. Mm. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this in here right is is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, you're fucking dead. They'd better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull skull in myself. I'm serious, I'll fuck them up. So, um... It makes sense that, um... My friend had to die. Because, um... Now that we know how murder works in this game... And the trials... You physically, like... Only one person can physically escape this place. And obviously it's going to be me because I'm the main fucking character. Um, so, yeah, this checks out. We're not detectives or anything, you know? We're going to investigate murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway, this is it was you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ew. I hate her so much. Oh, yeah? Oh, boy. Execution is execution. Execution. Electric chair, bzz, bzz, poison gas, <laughs> torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. <sighs> yeah. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Saika. The victim was Saika Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happens. Somehow I have to find out the truth so that we can all survive. And for Saika, I have to find out how she was killed. Did he say King Neptune? Isn't Jupiter the the Roman the Roman god of gods? Um Okay, that makes sense. 
Anything else to look at? Fucking camera again, I guess. Alright. Uh, I guess first place would either be my room or... or um... Why do I always- the second I don't see your name written there, I just managed to blank on it. Sayaka. I keep thinking Sayura for some reason. Yeah, either mine or Say Sayaka's room are probably like the best places to go. Maybe? Okay, so my room. Wait, no, I want to talk to her. Oh, I need the pink. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no, I'm searching. Searching? Did you lose a contact or- Okay, so she's putting in a lot of effort. By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. You son of a- <sighs> Shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman scum that deserves death, that's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. <laughs> If I remember correctly. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. So Sayaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. Check the door, and we'll do that last because it might make me leave, and I don't feel like doing all that. the same thing oh okay it wasn't the same thing it's talking about how the fucking sheath has also lost its coating or there's scratches on it interesting maybe we should read that again because I just fucking skipped through it there's some scratches on the sheath they, they must have been made with something sharp okay and then he's like why the fuck would you use a sheath in the middle of a fight There's scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Evidence of a struggle. Wait. Huh. Well. I, I shouldn't have even looked at all this stuff before because I'm just looking at it now. Did she, did she clean up my room? What the fuck? Um, anything with this? Nope. And the fact that the, the toolkit never got used is interesting. Yo. What? what? We ain't exactly in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? 
What? Not just me. What? Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. So nobody's opened their toolkits. Well, it's good to know. Because someone must have. Either... Because they said they talked about it yesterday, so either someone did it right before... Right after their talk. Or... It's a girl who, who killed. Because it, it was a sewing kit that was used, maybe. Or like... Wait, no. Because the knife would be in the toolkit, right? I don't know. I didn't mean to click on him. You son of Yo. Alright. Now I wanna check the door if I can. Son of a bitch. I wanna know if the door is like fucked. Is there what did, what am I missing? There must be something, surely. No, I wanted to try to look at the fucking window, but I guess I don't need to. What am I missing? There's gotta be something, what the fuck? What are you- isn't it- I'm- Did you lose- There we go, I can talk to her now. Listen. Are you a clean freak? No, I don't think so. But what I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. There's something very unusual at your room. So I've searched your floor from corner to another and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Indeed. Not one hair from the victim and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. Someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well. Now can I go in here? There we go. <sighs> this sucks. This fucking- this game just knows how to hurt you, man. Now I gotta actually look at her. Like, for real, for real. Okay, well, knew there'd be something around here. Okay, well, I don't know how that was useful whatsoever. Thank you very much. Huh? Written in blood with the numbers 11037. Did she do this? 11037. When have numbers been used in this game? Have they ever been used? Like, to dictate people? 1137. I'm sure we'll get to it eventually, it's fine. Whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the file, Saka's right wrist is broken. Um, yeah, I, I was searching up some stuff about this game to make sure I could stream it and stuff. Um, they didn't do it for pop culture. They did it, like, or I don't know if this is what you meant, but they did it so they didn't get, like, banned and barred from a bunch of places. Like, they just didn't want to get censored. So they made it pink. According to the file, her right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and broken, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist, too. There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms are both spotless, so how come only her finger? The stab wound is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. 
I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? The killer attacked Saika in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly, deadly wound. So someone must have been hurt in the struggle, no? Okay, looked at that. Nothing else? I guess not. And if her left finger, like we know that there's a number there. That she put there. It would seem. Right. So. There's well, what? Makoto. You need to come. Why? Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. Makoto. There's one other thing I want to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? What? Correct. It's been a while, I might rewatch the documentary about this game that I saw. Interesting, I didn't know they had a documentary. That's right. You didn't notice? We'll just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. The doorknob. The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... So someone did open their toolkit then, if they had a screwdriver. Just a second. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Do you tell anyone about that? Oh, uh, well, I did tell Psycho about it last night when we switched rooms. Hmm? I see. Then that clears that up. Goodbye. What a useless sack of shit. I have to like f fucking. Oh my god. Look into the DVD where the murder weapon came from. I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. She's smarter than all of us. That doesn't mean she's helpful whatsoever. Okay, so I gotta go to the trash room. Let's first get the CD from her trash can. Then go to the trash room. Then we gotta talk to the programmer as well. Wait, nope. That's not where I wanted to go. Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, it's not gonna let me- Oh, hi. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh, my god, they're all around me. I guess I'll talk to them. Very strange. Should have been me that died. Who knows? Who knows? Seems like something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayako was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Moses. Okay, well, I literally, I, I'm gonna go to the trash room if I can.
This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. No, no, you can't go any further! No, no, you can't go any further! No, no, you oh can't Oh my god, go okay. A fast just go around and ask no, the others. No, no, you can't go any further! No, I got it, I got it, thank you very much. Trash duty, okay. So this is a thing. Oh my god, please, please, god, god, please stop. No, 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 you can't, no, no, you can't go any further. Can I, I guess I can't see that thing. And I assume this is an exit. There's a camera here. Okay, let's exit. I guess next we go... We should go talk to the programmer. No, they were in the fucking gym, weren't they? Not the... Not here. Oh, well, someone's here. This will be good. Good conversation. Hmm. <laughs> she was here when Sako was killed. Interesting. Anyway, I don't think it could have been the girls because a screwdriver was used and stuff. Wait, what should I be? I should be looking at something in here. In here. According to this. Is there anything else I can talk to her about? Uh, I wish it just let me leave when I accidentally click on something that <laughs> doesn't help. It's the most annoying thing. Okay, let's go... I was supposed to end so long ago. Let's go here. Huh? Before she died, Psycho left a message. She wrote the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Mm. Uh, I'm so... Oof. Now what do I do with those numbers? If you're like, cause, um, the one person was saying something about like, if you put your numbers here and you try to hide it or something, it's like, whatever, I don't know. Help me. Okay, well he's useless. Much appreciated. There's no one here. Let's just talk to everyone that we can, I guess. We already talked to these three. Ooh, a lot of people around here that we should go talk to. All right, hello. Really? Listen to me. So you decided to talk to me directly. The topic of conversation was assigning cleaning duty. That's wrong. <laughs> Sorry. What the fuck? Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Hifumi was also there when we had this conversation. He volunteered right away, so I let him have it. Ooh. So he's on cleaning duty then. Count on it. If I recall right, the boys have their toolkits and the girls have the knitting kits, but there is not, never anything against them using each other's kits. The problem is, it's not- right now, it's so early on, they don't have easy access to each other's kits. I'm kind of the only one who could have gotten a knitting kit, and Sayuka was the only one who could have gotten a fucking, um, toolkit. And mine was untouched, and hers was also left untouched. Otherwise, they would have just gone in, stolen it, and killed the person there, or whatever, you know? Indeed, but we'll swap out on a weekly basis. I'm sure you'll be up before long. Okay, so basically it is the big guy. Mr. Gamer guy. Anime titties, man. Well, he's still being nice to me. I was not expecting that. Does it tell me when people are here? No, I literally have to open this map just to see if people are around. There's one in the main hall, and one in class 2. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it is that guy. Because, um... Why else would he be like, oh, I won't let you get into the trash room and, like, cleaning duty and all that stuff. Hey, Celeste, do you know anything about this cleaning duty stuff? Huh? <laughs> Maybe you should ask Taka or someone else. Anyone but me, really. Thanks for the help. Uh, I did ask Taka because I'm pretty sure that's who this guy is. Right? Isn't that what we figured out earlier? Yeah, Kiyotaka or Taka for short. This b blackboard belongs to a secret beauty. There it is. <laughs> I, it paused for an extra second. I was like, ooh, token? It sucks that I gotta waste time on all this stuff, but I just gotta get these tokens. Huh? What's your pro I hate her. Why did I have to come talk to her? Useless piece of trash. Um, <laughs> sorry. Alright, let's go confront this guy, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, just stared right at you guys again. I'm so bad about that. I don't know, because it's like right there and it's got lights around it, it just gets my attention. I'm sure we can be up till midnight. Yeah, there's no school tomorrow. Yeah, I have no school tomorrow. But I do gotta eat. Hmm. Such ignorant. Hmm. Okay, everyone's telling me Taka. I just want to talk to everyone. Seems like... Could be the nameplate. I know, the nameplate's so weird. But it won't let me investigate any further. All the effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. Why would anyone do that? Open the gate in front of the trash room. Here we go. It's my job to gather up all the trash and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. Very strange. So in other. So that's it. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. Hey, listen. Hey, you bastard. Okay. Oh, um... <laughs> they, got, they just keep making fun of him for his weight. It's just, just a little frustrating. Very Leon of him. <laughs> I just want to decide to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... Is it like... <laughs> okay. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. <laughs> all my love is for Tootie. You know what I mean. But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of Tootie and then turn to... <laughs> this man's insane. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. Whenever a guy is cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to disposing of it. Wait, what? What? <laughs> My brain turned off for a second. I have no idea what just happened. Anyway, <laughs> um, I have a favor to ask you. This guy's so annoying. You. 
Okay, cool. We got the stuff we needed. Hmm. <laughs> I, I, I just love when things happen. And I have no idea what's happening, but it's fine because we're just gonna we're just gonna go as far as we can. Leon is a rude and he doesn't deserve my cursing. Yeah, I like him. He's funny, but he's just a dick sometimes. If we pull the key out of his pocket and use it to flip the switch next to the gate. Mr. No Without a doubt. This guy's so fucking annoying. Like, he has no clue what's happening. He's just saying shit. And those are the type of people that I hate the most. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, son of a bitch. Hey. Nice 12-er. Burnt piece of something. Mm. Piece of cloth in the shape is part of a sleeve from a button-up shirt. This is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. A white button-up shirt. Interesting. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It used to be some it used to be some kind of glass ball. What kind of glass ball? Do you know what this is? Okay. Oh, it he genuinely knows. So it's a crystal ball. It's just a it's just a fucking crystal ball. How are they stupid enough to just leave it there? When they're trying so hard to incinerate everything. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. And it's on the right. And it's on right now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. You press the green to get it going and the yellow to turn it off. About that, there can be no secret. We got one thing going for you, it's my memory. So he didn't kill, because he's too stupid. He's he's way too stupid to kill, surely. Most suspicious. That's it. I'm sure of it. He's the most frustrating human being on the planet. Anything else for me to see here? No, please don't tell me I have to listen to all of this again. Jesus Christ, bro. I feel Every <sighs> this is so annoying. Okay. So first of all, I want to go talk to Leon real quick. I don't know why. Just got the feeling I should. Seems like. Nope. Okay. I thought maybe after actually look at the nameplate, he'd have something to say. We need to go to the gym now. But there's still this that I want to know about. So let's just talk to her real quick. Maybe we'll get something out of her. Hmm. I guess not. <laughs> oh, I guess it's just the fact that she was here when Sayako was killed. 
So that's one. We got the we got the thing with my room. Okay. I think we got just about everything. Let's go to the gym and see what the fuck is up. I can't wait for the trials and shock with the outcome. It opened my view when it comes to thinking. <laughs> Interesting. Wasn't I supposed to come here to talk to people or some shit? Okay, finally, snap out of it. That's my crystal ball, but it's all smashed. What the hell? What the heck? What? What? <laughs> this guy is not a master psychic. What the fuck? You can say without a doubt that this belongs to me. Like he's he can't be an ultimate psychic because then he'd be better at this, and he's not. How much do you pay for that thing? Oh shit. Uh, um. Oh my god. That guy... Damn. Imagine scamming someone out of a million dollars. Okay, let's go to the laundry room, I guess. I don't know why I'm walking there. I can just fucking teleport. I don't remember exactly. There it is. Okay. I've never been there before, so I... Can I please... Thank you. Jesus Christ. At the very least, the loading times are very nice and quick. I've never been here before, but... We can take a look around. Okay. Magazines. Swimsuit. Token, at least. I don't know why there's just a swimsuit sitting here, but interesting. I'm gonna look at the, all those fucking machines later. I'm gonna look at the other stuff first. Still doesn't have any way of helping to solve this case either. Oh, okay. I guess I've been here before? Or it thinks I have. Well, one, one of these must have... Ah, uh, at least a token, but they must have like... Something helpful, right? Two tokens. Wait, nope. Okay, well that was useless. Thank you very much, you useless laundry room. Now what? Now what do I do? Can I go fucking... Thank you. Okay. I, I want to check out her room. Because I want that CD, first of all. Okay, so we got that. Um, we got to check out this. Again, with this, just checking out all the monotonous stuff that I don't care about. <laughs> but just gotta do it for the tokens and shit. Am I gonna sleep in here now? Is that... I guess so, because it does have my name on it now. Wait, I can- okay, fine. Sure, that's fine. I guess I'll just go to the fucking AV room. Cause you wanna fucking railroad me that hard. <laughs> oh, 
I just wanted to explore a little more, right? That door to her bathroom is open? Yeah. It's open. But, um, they won't let me explore it. I wish I could. I also wish that they'd let me fucking... Explore my door. Because I want to know what the hell is broken with the, how the killer got in. An image slowly appeared. It looks like some court of, sort of concert. Standing on stage front center was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with the friend she said she had been so important to her. She was glowing, so full of life. The image made it hard to accept that she was dead. My vi vision started to blur and darken, but then, and then that voice I'd come to spy just came, began to flow out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world famous all girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then. Suddenly the screen went dark, and the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. <laughs> Sayaka had dis disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? I mean, it doesn't look like they're dead. Right? I don't know. Do I have to look for all of these things after graduation? Like, after I graduate, am I going to be, like, searching... I can't tell if the video says look for these answers after graduation or the game is telling me that. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. I don't know where to go next. Like, I don't know what I should be doing now. I'm gonna go back to my room in case they maybe let me look at the door. Because I want to know what the fuck is up with that doorway. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, the controls in this game are so fucking frustrating sometimes. It's insane. Alright, they're not gonna let me explore the door. Well, now what? By the way, you son of you. Hey. Hmm. Is there anything I could have missed? I mean, obviously not, because I pressed Y and I got everything, but like. Alright, um, hmm. I guess we can look through all the truth bullets and see what we're, what we're feeling here. Okay, so we have the file, we have evidence of a struggle, we have the sword, and the sheath, with her, which are both like hurt and damaged. Switched rooms, the toolkit is untouched, but it's got a screwdriver in it. And other stuff. All the other male students claim that they haven't used theirs, but still. It's super clean. The wrist. Her wrist was fractured and it has glitter gold, like the glittery gold on it. So she probably got hurt by this sword. This dying message, which we still haven't figured out. Burnt shirt piece. We haven't looked into that yet.
Can you go in the other's rooms? Let's check. It would suck if we can, because that would be really fucking annoying. <laughs> Having to go through everyone's room, I don't really want to do that. Uh, let's start with the guys. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well, let's try everyone's. Because it's gonna... It's not like I'm actually going in there, so... Very... Well, that's not true, as we just learned, because our doors switched. Okay. Sure. Asshole. We're just gonna go through everyone's, just in case. <laughs> I mean, seriously? Wait, wait, I didn't actually read all of that. Hang on. As I placed my hand on the door, I noticed him coming, <laughs> a blur come tearing out of the depths. Hey, you bastard. I mean, seriously? Yeah, that's fair enough. Well, if anything, it gave me a funny little... to think about this in a so it would seem okay um hmm what else could i be looking for god damn it <sighs> all right let's talk to this son of a bitch mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. come on come on there it is just strip smut I was trying to look at that earlier, and it just kept giving me the other thing, and I just didn't want to look. Wait, what did it say? Now what do I got? Something up here? Anything else? Ooh, this thing. Gotta be something else that I'm missing. Cause I, I I genuinely don't know what I could be missing here. There's the fucking clothing. What the hell? I wanna go eat, bruh. <laughs> I wanna go eat. They won't let me eat. Didn't they say to go to the gym? Or some shit? Let's see. Like, they're still, they're still claiming there's stuff in the trash room, but there isn't, because I cleared it all. Same with the AV room. Oh, well, let's just go back to the gym room and see. Be more huh? useful, please. Okay, so I went to the laundry room. Maybe I missed something there? Because... Why is it not letting me enter? Hello? Alright, that's fine.
I keep staring at the fucking camera. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've never had this problem before. <laughs> I just notice I'm doing it. I'm just like, what the fuck? Wait, what is this? Huh. We're gonna go through this again and we're just gonna hope you're attracted to light or something? I don't know, I just see the light up there and I get distracted. One one oh three seven. What could that possibly mean? Cause I'm just running in circles now. We can go in the cafeteria, I guess. Just in case. One of the few places we haven't seen yet. I think that she has nothing new to say. Okay, I want to see that last thing again. That last thing that she says. <laughs> Same thing last night when Sayaku was killed. Yeah, so she does confirm that she left the room that she was supposed to be in. I genuinely don't know what else- wait, there's knives in here. There's knives in here. One of them's missing, isn't it? Fam's going to sleep. Wow, it is getting late. Okay, so we gotta find out who we can we can talk to um her, maybe she'll know. Yeah, totally. That's right. Well, Okay. <sighs> you know what I'm missing now? Oh boy. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Well, who could it possibly be? Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. All right, here we go. You're light. <laughs> Toko is such a piece of shit. Listen I thought she, I thought she'd be chill, just like a shy little loner. But like, no, she's just a piece of shit. Room where all your fates will be decided. <laughs> a 
I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. Okay. Ooh, I can talk to all of them. I could also look at the fucking cameras. I shouldn't waste time on it, but I'm going to... What am I looking at? Okay. Let's lo let's talk to everybody real quick. Just get a feel for... <laughs> I didn't hear it. <laughs> nope. You. She's just so... She knows. She she can help me. She's just obviously like choosing not to say anything. What? So whoever what? stuck us here even took the time to set up a goddamn courtroom, huh? Impossible. You know? Hey. All right, here we go. Class trial time. Well. Yes, indeed. Hey, Makoto. Okay, here we go. That's a big elevator, bro. It's total shite. Well now. Right, I want to get this over with. I need to eat. <laughs> I need to be done. This has been going for so long. Wants me to save. It's like you better, you better save just in case you get caught. I don't want to do any of this. I don't need this. Increases your truth bullet rate of fire. Effective during the non-step debate and the bullet time battle final strat. I don't know what any of that means, but we're going to equip it. Because we only have two fucking things anyway. Increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during the bullet time battle. Alright. The first class trial ever. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? 
Of course. Okay, then. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Fucking insane person. Friendship penetrates. No. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. But what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. There must be something First up for that. First is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. It's about to begin. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything if I f anything I found anything I noticed I have to be ready to speak about everything. Because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are online here. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Fuck yes, please. As things progress, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. Characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. You'll have to use your choose bullets to refute what they say. Any relevant choose bullets you found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the left stick to aim, then fire with the Y button. Pay close attention to each character's statements and use your tooth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you'll automatically fail, so please be careful. Oh god, this one's gonna hurt, man. This one's gonna be really difficult. Evidence of a struggle. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono! Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. Yes. In the bathroom. Yes. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. No. She didn't even have a chance to resist. If you're unable to spot and refute someone's lies or contradictions, the argument will repeat. Within a group of statements, some words appear in a different color. Do you happen to notice? That represents a potential hole in a person's statement, a possible weak point. These weak points reveal important, though not always inaccurate, sections of a person's statement. Your truth bullets are only effective against these weak points. So when you see one come up, take aim and fire. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, rise online apparently. But only if you're sure it's actually wrong. Also, you can fast forward an argument by holding down the B button. Well then, good luck and have fun. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Yeah, and the murder took place in Makoto. In the bathroom. So it seems most the killer must have taken her by surprise while she didn't even have a chance to read. There we go. No, that's wrong. Objection. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. With the way things had been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who and who? Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. He's kind of right. Sorry. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real- Nope, I'm just gonna keep skipping him. Kitchen knife set. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So what was used to kill her? 
there was some kind of sharp object thrust without a doubt. That is the So the killer used some random knife they, they had, had on him. How could anyone do something like that? That son of a bitch! So it wasn't so a random what was knife. Used to kill her. There was some kind of shit without a doubt. So the killer used some random knife they had. Cool. No I just wasn't fault. sure if, if random was important or not. Because it was, I mean, whatever. No. I do think it was a knife. But not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. I know I have limited time. Which means that knife must be the- Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon, and if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. I'm kind of sad he doesn't have a Mickey Mouse voice. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Come on, Leon, I'm right. your friend, bro. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Hold on a second. I'm- Let's draw our conclusions after we presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. Oh my god. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. Thank you, Kyoko. <laughs> Jesus. You really believe I really, I, I guess I should have picked her instead of Leon in the beginning. Because damn. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Yes, hit me with them. You can concentrate by holding the, down the right bumper. Time will slow down so you can pay closer attention to what everyone's saying. On top of that, it'll ste steady your aim, making it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this consumes a focus gauge, and if this gauge empties, you can't concentrate. It will recover over time, so let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. Well then, good luck and have fun. Aoi's account. Okay. Or Hina, I guess. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife, but where does that get me? Makoto must have taken it from the kitchen. He did it in secret when nobody was in the dining room. Yeah. No, okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining room. Yeah. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come in? Um, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? Oh my god. Idiot swimmer girl? Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear if there is an accomplice. Do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed. I didn't realize to I had to press A. <laughs> but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So, in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together, and they just didn't know about the rule? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Oops, did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife, so I'm not the killer! Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right. Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. 
But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um, well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. Okay, so we already know this. I don't... It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? He's it's, not... It's unwholesome! He's just but a horrible person. A girl. You are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh, yeah, that's true! One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, because... they're not here anymore. Oh, shit, did Sayaka. Junko... Oh. She's the one who okay. came to the dining hall. That Junko killed. And then later, she wound up dead. The person who took the knife. I got it! Then, Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... And the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. Damn it. What? See? He did do it after all. Why does she want me to be the no, killer? Piece of wrong. shit. So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction. Hmm. You possess... Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Your first hangman's gambit is about to begin. Oh boy. Reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question. You'll have to deduce the phrase from the letters flying around and the letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the correct order. Oh boy. Oh my god, this is this is such a difficult thing. Okay, here we go. What? Oh hair. I'm done. I'm uh, gonna wait for that A to disappear real quick, or we'll just take this one. I, I don't know what the hell that was about. Anyway, I got now it. I understand. And my brain turned off. I was like, what, are, what is this trying to spell out That's to me? That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. So, the culprit removed some evidence? Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That makes sense, does it not? No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. Yes, very good. I hate him. Then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course. 
to remove any trace that they had ever been. Wait, then that... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then... Makoto isn't the co Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed- And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's oh. fairly certain that the killer had some Smart. trouble getting into the bath. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember him? I got it! Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the- Huh? The doorknob? What door- The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire... This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It... So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own... But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about... You still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Goku said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice that at first, but is that the key point here? Teach me. The number of weak starts will start going up, but no matter how many weak spots there are, there's essentially one liar contradiction in that debate. What I'm trying to say is not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. Use the truth built on the wrong one, not only will you fail to refute what they say, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone and your influence to gauge will take damage. This is important because if your influence gauge reaches zero, you fail. Oh boy! What do I have? Bathroom door frame. Okay. The incident took place in Makoto's room. Saika was first attacked in the main, she then fled into the bath, then the killer ran after her, and they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust out because Sayaka had locked it. No, that's wrong! The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Smart. Yes. Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What do you My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yep, true as true can be. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door. <laughs> That's not lucky at all. Why does so he keep the saying the that? The didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about this. I got it. Boom. Switched must not doors. Realized that it was my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's inconceivable. And yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? I hate well, this guy so much. Specific, oh my god, <laughs> let me kill him. What the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms, which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident. The killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door open. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do. 
since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is a definite possibility. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Then Makoto couldn't have done it. Okay, <laughs> then who did do it? Okay, I'm now we get sorry. to the good part. I give up! Quit without saving! What a fucking but loser. What happens if we can't decide on who we think did I mean, I'd do that too, but damn. Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules! Majority rules? You really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial... Oh! As a matter of fact, I do have one question. Oh. You. No. You gotta sound so disappointed. It's fine, Poor it's Hina. fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well, I was just wondering. That's what I was asking. Get... Mm. Yes. How did the killer get inside? Uh, maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then, maybe someone picked the lock? Negative! If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just let him in. No, that can't be it either. Oh, trying to argue against Oh my god, me? shut up. No. Why exactly? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I have a couple minutes. I'm pretty sure it's this. I got it. I think it's that. I'm gonna hope. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? Okay, thank God. Knowing what she'd been through. What if her being scared was a lie? Huh? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something? I know you don't want to consider it, but... There's something I want to talk to you about, just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room, Sayaka. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't quit the wrong room. I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. Well, I was trying to look at the notepad too, but it wasn't letting me. And these are the words that appear. Oh man! I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the word. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap! I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from- It's a pretty old-fashioned technique. But even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? Which means, only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. So, Makoto, did you write this? N no, I didn't. But, of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Damn! But, but why? The note was likely her way of getting it. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate mm, oh pop sensation... Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on... But I hate this sure man. Anyone even got this note? I hate him so much. And honestly, even if they did... I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Huh? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? Very well then. Pay oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What am I getting? Dorm nameplates, okay. Agochi. Brother Agochi. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? But in the note. The place they were asked to come, it specifically says, my work, I see. So if someone, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. So in other words, even if they would not have any connection. Mm. It certainly would seem that way. Okay, I think I know. 
I think I know Sayaka, what, I um, I gotta click. Specifically said I see. Then they would have gone to exactly the room that Makoto was. No, that's wrong. I like going through it once just to see. The nameplates on my inside. They got. That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto. And the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as... Then, if someone did do what the note said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other. So switching the nameplates would be no problem. And the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it was... Right? Okay, then who... I got it! Me and Sayaka were the only one. So the only other person besides me. You can also infer as much from her. She specifically tells the reader to check the name. She would only this is have so interesting. She knew the nameplates had been switched. And also terrifying. But why would she switch them in the first place? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in. And also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switched rooms. Why would anyone do that? To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. That's where the answer lies. What happened then was probably whoever she invited over came in and attacked her. We figured it out. We know who did it. Whoever she invited over is the culprit! But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot! Sayaka fought with her killer there in the room, yes? Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? That reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that per- Oh yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? Oh, there it is. Beep boop. I got it! All you have to do is take a right there where her wrist is all. Is, is that gold? It sure is. Specific. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's some on her wrist because I got it. Because she got hit with the sword. Thanks. Right there on her wrist. I see. I see. And this guy's right. the most useless person then in this about entire time crew. To solve this mystery. What happened in my room and what led to Psycho's death? That's what we need to make clear. Alright, teach me about these fucking non-stop debates. I'll start loading multiple truth bullets into your truth cylinder. But just like with the weak spots, only one of those bullets can actually refute the proper statement. From here on out, you'll have to combine the right truth bullets with the right weak spots to refute each statement. You can press the left bum bumper to rotate the cylinder and choose which bullet to fire. Press and release the left bumper to cycle through each bullet. Okay. Or you can hold down the left bumper, then use the left stick to hold this, to select a specific bullet. If the logic difficulty is set to kind, fewer bullets will be loaded into the cylinder. For the, our purchases this time, the logic difficulty will be set to mean. You son of a bitch. Replica sword sheet, sword, and kitchen knife set. Well, I doubt this set is going to be useful. I think it's going to be the sword. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword, and that's when the first blow was dealt. A sword-based sneak attack. And that's what broke me. So she tried to fight. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had hidden, up, but then the culprit took. And they killed her. And that's exactly what happened. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed, and that's when the first sword-based sneak attack. And that's what Wait. broke me. My so she, she grabbed the 
kitchen knife she had hidden, but then the culprit and they killed her. And that's exactly what happened. Wait, 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 wait. So, if the person with the sword really did attack first, there's no explanation for how a certain part. Okay, so I guess she took the sheath, right? Probably. We're gonna say that she took the when sheath. The fighting broke out. The culprit, and that's when the first sword base sneak. And that's what broke me. My so she tried. She grabbed the kitchen knife. She had hidden the blade. Fuck. I was so close. Shoot. I was doing so well. That's when the first sword base sneak attack. There we go. No, that's wrong. Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Huh? Why not? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Something sharp? You mean like the kitchen knife? No, nope, my lights turned off. sharp thing found at the scene. Because we've been playing for so damn long. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any. If you were going to attack with the sword, you. That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the. Which means whoever had the kitchen knife. Was the one who attacked first. Oh my god, this was a defensive so murder. The culprit came in, found the no. kitchen knife hidden there. Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself. But then the culprit Sayuka tried to too. kill first. Oh my god. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, they took the knife. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the What? How the hell can you not think that? Because she never held the sword at all. There's a certain Um, her palms. I got it. You're talking about her palms, right? The palms of her hands were perfectly clean, so I don't think she ever. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? Like I said before, the gold. In fact, if you look, you'll notice that a lot. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hand. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. Sorry, but I don't think so. Why do you say that? Is it- Oh my god. No, that's not it at all. There's no way she washed the gold coating off her hands because there's a certain regulation that talks about what happens. The water was off. I got it! According to the Monokuma file, in other words, at night. Oh, I didn't know that. Actually, I have. It grows. Oh my! You're no different. You hmm? I'm not sure what. An insult, obvious. So anyway, Jesus. If Sayaka never touched the sword. Then that means the killer is the only one who used the sword. But hold on. If that's right, then the one who damaged the sheath with the kitchen knife was. The one who damaged the sheath would have been Sayaka. I got it! Sayaka? But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. And the one who attacked first? Sayaka? Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in Holy this. Holy shit. No, far from it. It's almost as if she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. She dun, took the dun, knife dun. from the kitchen then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation... Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Nakuto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms. Maybe the reason she wanted to switch was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility, is it not? Holy shit. Sayaka wanted to... on me? That would also explain why she would switch the nameplate. I thought she just wanted to murder me, so I guess, you know, she this is just a betrayal. She she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. A worse betrayal, I think. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, 
That would implicate Makoto, but for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have... So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch room. Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Why is she making that face in me? Wait, then you're saying she had this all... Holy shit! But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife. Then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. Just hold on! That can't be true! Because... because... Hey! Hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument! You're being super boring right now. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? I'm trying to look at uh, their cufflinks. What? No, I'm trying to look at their sleeves. Is cufflinks the right word? It might have been. I'm trying to look at their sleeves because they're supposed to be that oh, yeah. clothing. We gotta decide who we think did it. I don't think it was this guy because his sleeves look fine. Makoto. Right now, you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. As far as clues go, there's nothing left. No, not necessarily. All right, let's see. Dying message. Oh, that's it, huh? I'll take it, thank you. Thank you for giving me an easy one. It's easy just to say, hey, decide, but there just aren't any more clues, right? Very well. Then let's review all the clues we've seen. Die. If we don't do something, we're all gonna okay, die. I just wanted to make sure. It's easy just to say, hey, but there just aren't any more clues, right? Boom, bitch. No, that's wrong. There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? The dying message. One, one, zero. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask. Wait, one, one, zero. Holy shit. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Hang on. If you're trying to write it behind you, you go one, 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 zero. Oh my god. It's got to spell out one of these. Like, it's got to be like an attempt at spelling out one of these names. At first, at first I thought it was this, A-O-I, but it could still be. But the three seven doesn't make sense. Sorry. Anyway, let's just keep going. I, I was like, oh my god, I did it, but I didn't do shit. Can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? Yes. Uh, because of lice. I got it! Her left index. That could only be because she... I see. Sure. I think we can all agree. What the heck do those numbers... Hey, Chihiro. You're a comp... N no, that's not... Of course. Oh! Huh? What? what? No, it's just... Uh, look at the... N don't these first two... One, one... And... Less like two numbers... E and more like one letter? Something? Noel? I keep saying Noel, and I'm like, what What did Risco do? Why did Risco do this? Ah, oh, you're right. But looking at it now... Whoa! You might have finally just said something worth it. <laughs> <laughs> little great. But even if that really is an N... N037 doesn't 
Rotate the image one. Oh my god. Huh? You just shot past the clue part and right on. So, whose name did she. Oh. Oh. Well, it clearly starts with an L, right? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh. Of course the person I'm trying to friend. God damn it. my answer. The key to solving this mystery, if you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L L E O A. What? What the hell are you talking about? It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. No, it's not, not really. random at all. Oh she my god, that makes so much more sense. Her as she was leaning up against it. For some reason, I mixed up left and right, and I thought that she was flipping her hand over here to write it. So I was trying to think of it like, oh, she was trying to spell out letters using numbers, and she couldn't see, so she wrote it wrong. Which was kind of right with the one and one being an N, I thought it was a V or an A. So then I tried to look at Hina, whatever, that it's position, fine. She couldn't move to write normally and had to write ups. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her and the letters will be inverted. Th that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Ooh. Huh? Oh, his sleeves aren't fucked up. I thought that you'd be able to see. You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried... I got it! You mean... The burnt shirt as the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten and to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood. They threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? What, what, but is one scrap of fab Yeah, I mean that that's right there are plenty of other people with just that one little charred piece there's no way you can say for you're right that alone isn't enough but there are some other points that may reveal are you finally starting to understand the answers to all the riddles are right here that's too crazy but yet yeah. it's true yeah for real so Uh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Look at this. Shoot. Shit. Okay. Where is disposer? How? I guess I we'll use the incinerator. Yeah, there we go. If you look closely at how the shirt. Oh, oh yeah. That's a good. Point. You can't reach the incinerator without opening. And obviously, you wouldn't be. You need the key to get in. And the one with the. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Another one of these fucking non stop arguments. Piss me off. All right. The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who the person in charge of the and you'd have to get close to the incinerator, and, which means the only possible suspect is whoever. Oh. So, the, huh? No! He's so annoying, but I just figured it out. The key to the trash. Whoever was on cleaning. So the only one who the person in charge and you'd have to get close to the. There we go. No, that's wrong. But he really hit that button dead on with the crystal ball. That's insane. That's such a Hold dumb. On. I think I know how someone. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator. Could yes, you could. 
if you used what is it some kind of glass ball it's busted actually it was supposed to be a crystal ball. but how would you use it divine with I got it. it the killer simply took aim at the incinerator all they had to do was hit that switch and the incinerator would come to life Someone threw that through a gap in the remember what you said before he threw me Fumi had the key was because the killer was able to hit the switch. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it. In. Hey, come on! What the hell is? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually. Oh, he's went the ultimate the baseball kit player. Jesus Christ, that's so smart. The shards of broken glass. The incinerator left running. The piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty. The evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. I can't believe I've been going for five hours. Wait, wait, no, just... But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has the pinpoint accuracy you'd need to... Could someone really... That, that's right! They're difficult, absolutely. I got it! Because the killer is... Do you, do you have any idea? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I, I'm not the killer. These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong. I'm telling you. You still won't admit it? Okay, then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. And with that, we can end this. Listen to me. What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered, and the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. Oh my god, tell me about this now. Every case has one last element to bring the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. You will give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce the flow of events for the case in the form of a comic book. You'll notice that in the comic, there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic use it using the provided truth panels. If you take an aim at a missing section and press A button, you'll get a hint that might lead to a breakthrough. Christ. Oh my god, okay. Uh... Is that not right? Huh? I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't even know what I'm fucking looking at. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm gonna lose my cool. I'm gonna lose my shit and my cool. What am I doing? Oh, I have 20 minutes. I'm good. No, that's not right. It is right. I gotta chill out. Well, I, I mean, I'm not- I'm clearly not getting it right because I'm not starting. Like, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, turn the page by moving to the edge of the screen, or by simply pressing... Okay, wait. <laughs> I didn't realize that I could move. Okay. If you make a mistake, you'll take damage, and blah blah blah. Turn the page. Turn the page by moving your reticle to the edge, or by pressing LB or RB. You'll find the panels lined up at the bottom of the screen. It's your job to use these panels to fill in the missing sections and complete the comic. Um, if you target an empty section and press A button, you'll be given a hint about what goes there. Once you ha once all the panels have been placed, I think I'm understanding. My room was the scene of the crime. The incident began when the killer entered. All right. I didn't realize it goes left. I'm an idiot. I I should have realized that it goes left. Is it reading from bottom to top as well? It is. Oh my god. I I just didn't even realize this is like fucking Jesus me. 
Jesus me. Okay, I understand now. He slashed. It's this, right? So she runs into the bathroom. Closes the door. He tries to kill her with that. Wait, what is this about? Because he doesn't use this against her. So what did I do wrong here? Maybe this? What did I do wrong? I must have done something wrong. Hang on. It starts with lamenting, then he goes through here. The comic is like a manga. Yeah, I, I'm just- I haven't read manga, so I didn't realize. She's holding this, attacks. And there are 10 pages, so there are 10 of these bitches. Wait, are there? Five? No, there's 11! Idiot me! Idiot me! Walks in. She's about to stab him, so I think this is wrong. Or is it? Nah, it's right. I mean, he just dodges this. So I think that's this. Then he attacks. Fucking hell, man. It's- I'm really going through it right now. He breaks her... wrist. Oh my god, I'm so stressed out right now. I guess he chases her with the sword. She runs out. He tries to break in. I guess this? Because that's the only one that really makes sense anymore. Then she's dead. Rip. Grabs this. Goes and cleans the fucking floor. Goes into here. Grabs this. Throws it like a fucking legend. Nope. Nope, wait. I was right. Chucks this bitch. I still am not totally sure how mangoes are. Here's exactly what happened. I hope that's right. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, from what we can tell, Sa She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. Oh no, okay, so that's what I did wrong. So is he, I guess I was supposed to put that there? Is that right? Or did I? Cause it is top to bottom, right? The oh. killer is you. Okay, I guess I got it right this time. Fuck, never mind. 
No, what did I do wrong? I guess this. And then this. Here's exactly what happened. Fingers crossed. Oh, thank God. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. So it goes from top to bottom, but from right to left, which is not what I'm used to. So I'm like trying to get used to it so I understand. So she she stabs at him. Then it's him. He grabs the, the sword. Then she stabs at him again. He uses the sheath. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right. And that's when she lost her grip on the kick. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily. And there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her. So instead, the killer... ...and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remained to keep the killer from noticing, and with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying me. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room, and they wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer head they tried to, but the trash room was blocked off by an So they came up with a plan to use Hero's Crypt. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate. And for any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence, to, and that's because the killer... The crystal ball thrown with which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. He got the crystal ball because, um, the psychic dude accidentally left it in the laundry room where anyone could grab it. But there was one thing they missed. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire. The killer didn't notice this. Isn't that right, Leon? Wow. It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt. And that's where you saw it. Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object, I object, I ob I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit. It's bullshit and I refuse to acknowledge it. Well then. I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. This requires so much quick thinking and I just can't do it. Sometimes during a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you'll engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. And we like to refer to this as the bullet time battle, aka the BTBEBTW. During the BTB, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with the rhythm. Match your button presses with each tempo marker as they move across the screen and reach the center.
Huh? Press the A button to lock onto an opponent's statement. Destroy the statement you've locked on to with the Y button as the tempo marker reaches the center. Use this method to deal damage. If you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Oh my god. Deal enough damage and your, their weak spot statement will appear. You can press the Y button to shoot it down with a truth bullet like any other statement. I haven't failed yet, which is cool. When the killer removed the screws from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Um, remove the screws from the doorknob. Yes. Instead, they must have used something that belonged. I refuse to acknowledge you. You're stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. All right, bullet time, baby. Here we go. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lied. Shut up. You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie! I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Where's your proof? You kidding me? I'm Not dying. Chance. It wasn't me! Stupid! You lie! It lagged, that's bullshit. Shut up! You kidding me? Not a chance! You lie! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where's your proof? This should prove it. That was so difficult. I almost died there. That was so, so difficult. The screws on the bathroom doorknob were rem I wonder what kind of- I mean... Oh yeah, I'm pretty- And that must be what he used- But the toolkit in my room had clearly never- That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were inside. Only the boys got toolkit. Okay. I did mention that earlier, I think. the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Leon, would you mind? The screwdriver will show some evidence. Stupid, stupid, stupid! And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. So, you have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. Hey, nice. Sucks for that guy. He was just defending himself at first. Then he did try to go on in on the attack, but like, you know. Just kind of a fat L, wasn't it? Overall. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? Hey, nice. I like that. Got a little achievement, didn't I, bruv? You all have oh, a shit. letter in front of you. Use it to make your selection. I honestly forgot I had a concentration skill spell <laughs> or skill. I, I tried to merge spill. Sp what the fuck? I tried to merge spell and skill. I ended up saying skell and then I said spill. So I'm really oh, vibing. Just to make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Okay, then let's get excited. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Well, now we vote for Leon, which is just sucks, you know? But like... Pew!
Pew, pew, pew. You did it. The spelling and say things you was saying are you were scarily correct, accurate, and I was concerned how you got it. Bro, I'm just smart. Uh-oh, looks like you got it right on the money. The black in this case, the one that killed Sayaka, was none other than Leon Kuwata. Huh? Hey, hold on. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But I don't believe it. You son of, son a, of bitch. a bitch. What is Oh wait. Son of a bitch. What the hell is wrong with you? I I didn't have a choice. <laughs> I haven't eaten in so long. I'm hungry, so guys. That's why <laughs> None of you are any different. Turned his way as his t-shirt. I was just <laughs> unlucky. There's That's a all. big theme of luck in this game. Hey, come on! Because if what we came up with really is the truth, then that truth is that Psycho is trying to frame me. But even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind is all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was hearing the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. The one thing that's more important to her than anything else, her dreams, her friends. To have to see something like that happen to them. And Saika. I... And that's why Saika, for the friends that meant so much to her. That's why she betrayed me. So when she said... No matter what happens, please always be... She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I, I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. <laughs> ba -bum, ba -bum. Phew. This is all your fault, little teddy bear guy. No, don't. That's enough. Every time you lunge at the bear, it's just like he's gonna kill you, man. Calm down. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Um, so Kyoko is going to die. <laughs> She's too smart. I assume that she isn't gonna be there to help us through the entire time, you know? Punishment? You mean execution? Oh boy. Wait a second. Yeah, that's it. It wasn't self-defense. Hmm. This game is like the gamble of life. It plays on the devil. That was a lot of words, Rook. Maybe I'm just too tired to understand them. Do you understand? You had any number of chances to stop what you're doing, but you chose not to. Is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder? So... Oh. Almost exactly as it said it in the game, Rook. Nice. No! 
It's time, guys. It's time. Oh, 3D. <laughs> what the? F oh, whoa, oh my god. They're jumping between so many different art styles in this game. Holy shit. This is so cool. Oh my god. That's so fucked up. They're just gonna lob baseballs at him. We have to watch? A thousand blows? That's insane. That's the most insane shit. Like, that's just torture. <laughs> Why did that... <laughs> Anime guy's face have to be in there in that shot. I mean, really. It's a little less dramatic when he just has his face. Extreme! Like, <laughs> I can't. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could just live here forever, really. Damn you. Why are you putting an upstanding? Oh my god. Upstanding? Don't know about hey, that. Um... Um... Ugh, shit. You piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground, motherfucker. <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome? Thrills, chills, kill! Hey. <laughs> Kyoko is so smart, and I just... Uh, <laughs> just... She is the one driving this plot forward at all times. I need this game to end. <laughs> I need this chapter to fucking end, please, God. Just a second. Makoto. Listen. It's true. However... So... Certainly. Anyway... She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you, which is why her plan failed. Right. Damn. Correct. 
I like how we just all kind of forgot that the Junko or whoever died. <laughs> like, she's just been gone and we just kind of moved on. How to feel after that game, bro? That was sad. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot we ripped out three people in one. Isn't there supposed to be fifteen chapters? Cool. I got a despair bat. Thanks. Thanks so much. Let's save the data. Ooh, achievement. Okay, we are done. <laughs> we, we are so done. We are so done. Please, God. Please, God. I need to be done, guys. I need to be done. We've been playing this game for so fucking long. It's been so long. I'm currently closing it out. It has been... It's been far too long. My brain hurts. I don't think I've done a five-hour stream in a very, very long time. It has been... It's been... I think I did a six-hour stream once. And I've done four-hour streams with Ellie before, but I warned you, man. You definitely did. I should have. I should have listened. I always just go, "Oh, it can't possibly be that long." I even stopped reading half of it, like all the stuff that I didn't think was important. I stopped reading that stuff. If I read all that, this would have gone on so much longer. I'm so glad I'm done. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. But okay, genuinely though, that was a really fun game. I feel like it's. It's yeah, well, judging by the viewer count, definitely not uh, something that a lot of people are interested in, but it was fun playing the first chapter. I hope you guys got a kick out of it. I'm probably gonna play the rest on my own. Um, don't know what I'm gonna play next stream. I don't really know what I wanna do. I've been trying not to force these streams, I've been trying to do them enough without forcing them, so it might take me a bit to get to a stream that I, I want to do. I might do Cuphead, but I also kind of want to record Cuphead. So I can just cut out all the BS and make like a kind of short video or a bunch of short videos because the Cuphead show is out. I haven't watched the first episode yet, but it's supposed to be go f going for like three, t three months, 12 weeks, whatever. Um, Like 12 weeks, aka three months, not a combination of the two. That's way too long. Um, But yeah, so 12 weeks of the show. So I might just make an episode of me playing Cuphead to go along with the Cuphead show. And by an episode, I mean a series. For, uh, anyway, we, let's, let's, I have not rated Melon in a long time, or not Melon, Lemon in a long time. So let's raid Lemon with the two people in my chat. <laughs> I appreciate you guys who've been here for so long. Um, That'd be nice to sit down and watch. Yeah, so I might play Cuphead. I've been saying for a while that I want to. I just haven't gotten around to it. But, um, yeah, it was fun, guys. This is the first time I've done kind of like a story-based game that, like, I actually played through a lot, you know? Because, like, normally I would play through a little bit and then kind of stop going. But I got through a lot of that game. Um, or at least I played for a long time. And it was interesting. It was a good game. It was nice. So, um... Yeah, I appreciate you guys being here. I'll do another stream soon uh, that's more comedy-based because I feel like people tend to like when I do comedy more. I tried something different with this. Clearly, it um, didn't work as well, but that's fine. I had fun, and I hope you guys had fun if you guys stayed. And um, yeah, so comedy, um, insane batshit stream coming soon. And until then, and also YouTube videos coming soon. And until then... Enjoy the Lemon Raid, and have a good night, guys.